We have got <laughs> Mr. Fish in the motherfucking house. This is going to be the most insane podcast of the year. Mr. Fish arrived accidentally yesterday. This is how oh, crazy mate, this, <laughs> this is. How crazy he is. Not just that. He said he's going to start out with a strip trees dance. We have never had this before on the True Crime podcast. So no, have I. No, have I. I won't get paid for this. I won't get paid for this. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming today. And you've got your own YouTube channel. What's made you start that? Uh, by the way, I started it because of people like you. Uh, it's called London's Craziest Gangster. Yep. I mean, Mr. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, I've always been looking for somewhere. It's quite funny, really. I've always been looking for somewhere to... I like helping people and giving advice. And everyone always said I should be a counsellor. So Crash, for me... I was going to start a charity to help like kids involved in knife crime and, uh, and, and criminality. And it would also help kids, you know, because what's happening now is kids are now being kept indoors. And because they're being kept indoors, what's happening now, they're not becoming streetwise. So the villains have won. So my charity, what I wanted to start was to help those. But what happened was, because oh, I'm thick and soft my nuts, what happened was I didn't really know about the charity and how to get community. So I, I, I couldn't really get an out, the outreach I wanted to the public. And then when Bobby Kasanga of Big uh, Ego Media Productions interviewed me, I suddenly realised this is the best way I can reach people and help. Big Media Productions? Yeah, Bobby Kasanga. All right, yeah, shout out to them. Oh, thank you. So I watched an interview. It said, um, Black gay armed robber and he did a robbery dressed as a woman yeah. as an armed robbery dressed as a woman yeah. how, how did that come about well i always liked naomi campbell and uh, <laughs> uh right um okay let's go into the face what happened was um crash um my mate came to me and uh asked me if i could do a bit of work because you see in the old days Villains was a bit different, weren't they? Villains, everyone had a trade, and uh, I was jack of all. <laughs> <laughs> Master of none. But uh, so he came up to me and asked me if I would do a, a job in, in a town hall. And he said, there's 200 grand in the bank, in the vault. So what happened was, uh, I said, okay, cool, no big deal, let's do it. And uh, you got to remember, it's not really about money for me, anyone get earned money you can earn money doing a podcast <laughs> but crash it's always been about taking on the csi of horrendous beating the camera and it was in the middle of three police stations yes like this is like let's get it on you know what i mean let's do it and so crash i've gone up there to have a look and when i've gone up there to have a look what i've had to do i've had to go in a way that would make people turn away and laugh at me do you understand? So what I've done, I've worn a great big pink gangster hat, right? A gold chain, <laughs> a skimpy pair of shorts. And as I'm bowling down the road, everyone looking at me going, exactly what I want to go, have a look at this. <laughs> and I'm laughing, you know. So I go in, and there's two reception, two security. Now, they're there all the time. And we were originally going to go in with three geezers. But the problem was, if they're there all the time, there's no way. All I had to do was get... Uh, like, like from the door to there, uh, I don't, um, 20 yards, 30 yards. Yeah. But those security guards at reception, they're there every day. Yeah. They're going to know every single person that goes through that wages office. So I thought we couldn't do it like that. So I thought, okay, let me go and have a look at the setup. So I've gone in, and as I've gone in, the security have done exactly what I wanted. It's gone, oh, mate, have a look at this one. <laughs> Turn around and laughing. <laughs> And I'm thinking, well, let's see if you're laughing in two weeks' time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Crash, yeah, how's your father? Yeah, I, I, I clocked all that thing, TV, not everything. And then I, I've gone back. But when I've gone back, I've got this problem. Two security, two receptions, there every day. How the hell am I going to get through that 30 yard? And so Crash, how's your father? I'm asking all the villains. I'm like, look, excuse me, mate, look. 
I've got this job. How, 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 how am I going to get past him? Oh, I don't know, Fish. I don't know, Fish. I'm asking everyone. No one's giving me uh, uh, any help and all that. So I'm going, right, this is no good. So in them days, you know, I was on the old, so go hey. And so I brought a gram, gone home, shut the curtains, and all my books I read are CIA, MI5, uh, Winston Churchill, all like, um, you know, Secret Service books and the likes. And uh, Crash, so I'm looking all through it. And my father, no, they're not giving me CIA. I'm going, come on, someone help me, someone help me. And all of a sudden, Crash, my mate had given me um, a book by Andy McNabb, who writes the SAS books. And I hadn't read it. And so, I, just like you gave me your book, <laughs> I won't be reading now either. <laughs> no, I will, I will, I will, I will. <laughs> no, I will, I will. <laughs> you know what? He might give me the next clue I need to my next bit of work. <laughs> so, anyway, crash out your father. I've opened up on the first page. And guess what it said? Women of valor. I'm like, women? You never see women in the SAS. You never see any programs, documentaries, any of women in the SAS. So I went, bang. And it said, only where a man could not go with the right identification papers go, could a woman go. And the Germans wouldn't give a second glance. I said, gangster. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> We're going as women. <laughs> <laughs> so I rang the boys I said right I've got to again as women and they thought I was mad so did I <laughs> so anyway we, I've got the silicon implants I've got my mate's bird I dress silicon implants I've got the, 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 and I never had high heels the, the media said gunman trips over high heels and drops gun I had Dolly Dimple shoes on <laughs> and um, I look stunning though <laughs> and uh, so we've done the wiggle, made out. So then we went. I, I went on I mean, in there, got got past security. <laughs> I've told you I look like Naomi Campbell, <laughs> and uh, crashed out your father. Got in, but it's quite funny, really, when you do bits of work. Yeah, I'll be able to ignore this. Ignore this. <laughs> when you do bits of work, what happens is when you get nicked. It's not the crime you're getting the bird for. It's the words you say. So I had it all done. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't really want to do this. My house is getting repossessed and I'm really putting in a situation where I have to do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so when I'm going in and I'm going in, a fella is coming out. So he goes, oh, who are you? So I go, oh, staff. <laughs> so he's turned back in to look at the manager, to say to the manager, is he... Start to know him, to know her, sorry. I wasn't him before her. <laughs> and crash out your father. The manager said no, so I've had to whip out the tool and drag him in. But I've heard the burr on the reception say I'm being raided, being raided. So I know now, crash, the alarm's been raised. So I'm like, well, do we stay? Do we go? Do we stay? Do we go? I thought, all right, okay, now we're in. Let's do it. So now... I know there's 200 grand in the market, yeah? So I got the money. Like, right, where's the money? Now, <laughs> I had to laugh. <laughs> He's come running at me. This is a scandal, mate. With 400 pound in pound coins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so obviously, he thinks I'm just a nut nut coming in the building and ain't got a clue what's going on. So, remember I told you the words are what get you the sentence. Well, I was going to say the house has been repossessed and all that, but now he's through the 400 pound coins. I've lost it, ain't I? Open the fucking vault before I blow his fucking nuts off. 99 years, IPP. <laughs> <laughs> That's an indeterminate public protection sentence for those of you who don't know that's what i received for it so any nine year oh, no. sentence armed think, robbery mm. dressed as a woman mm. i think it's hilarious <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway crash how's your father i get the dough uh 194 grand and i come out but as i come out there's like 300 people and all that like in the reception because where she said i'm being raided there now all outside, look from the offices. I come down. And look. 
Sauf que quand le camarade, hi! On se croit en haut. Elle en a vraiment un gars, ouais, ils ont un gars. On a pas un. Ben, ils se doutent des freeze. And I'm like, straight away, I know something's wrong. So I told them to come after me so that we don't know we're together. So Crash House, your father, I've looked at him, and I'm like, I know something's wrong. So I said, don't approach him. And I look there to the right, and there's two old Bill coming down there. And I look at this kid again. And the problem was, normally, you know, we work with our own team, our own crew. We bring people together. But this kid, it was the first time I've worked with him. And I don't really like to work with married men or me. Because the thing is, if it goes wrong and you get a big bird, then you're losing your family, your kid. So if you're single and you ain't got that, then it doesn't hurt too much. You know what I'm saying? So uh, first time I used him and I just thought, you know what? If I pull out the yoga, which to be honest with you, I, I never, we never hurt police. I mean, it's a game. It's called Cops and Robbers. Um, the guns are just used for compliance. I mean, I know they cause mental harm and that, but it's only for, but we never shoot police. I mean, the police, that's their role. It's their job. And I think when, I've said this before in the avenue, when people do hurt police to try and escape and to try and, I think uh, it's because they're disappointed that they've never done their job properly. But uh, I've seen so many people who have hurt police and they've been not committing suicide in Nick, self harming, can't handle it. Do you know what I mean? So people need to know. So anyway, I've looked at these up and I thought, you know what, if I put them on the floor, this kid, he's not going to look like 15 years, you know, and they start hurling 15 years at him, 20, he's going to melt and grass all the others. Because we had a good plan because what we had was we had two black geezers to do it and then we had two white geezers to do it because, you see, the things have all changed now. In the old days, the game was simple. The game, you could just get four in a car, all bundled in, and off you go, <laughs> smiling in the back with the loot. <laughs> but now, because of CCTA, TV and AMPR and everything, you have to use, uh, you know, when the police come in, and their BMW 5s and all the rest of it, and all the other things you can't see, when they come in now, they're looking for teams. So teams of twos and threes. That's what they're watching for as they come. So the best way to do it now, what we found, was we always just laid on the back seat, put carbon on there, so it always looked like you was one driver. And so that way you could, like, get away and they wouldn't take no notice of you. So, um, so we had that, and then we had either van to put the uh, the motorbike in so that when the helicopter crash came up the bike had disappeared so we had it up oh, mate it was done proper yeah I, I always wanted to join the army i thought i could use my skills more wisely and i did go to join once but they said have you got firearms on your record and I, I said, yeah. <laughs> they went, oh, no, you can't join. I can't join. I thought that'd be fucking job experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you didn't say Life lessons, so. kids. Keep your day for um, jobs no, as well, oh, folks. No, 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 no. Channel your energy into the military, <laughs> not armed bank robberies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I did try. But crash out your father. So I've run towards him. I thought, right. No, it is. It's called damage limitation. Damage uh, limitation. You, you've got to limit the damage. And... So I thought, for, for me, if I do anything, my number one priority is to get the crew home. Crash out your father, that is absolute, resolute. Got to get the crew home back to their families. And so damning limitation for me was, okay, at least if I run with a loot and can get away, if I get caught, it done not I'm stum. So I thought, right. So I've gone, bang, 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 got away, hit the gun, hit the money. So I'm waiting for him to maybe come along, come along. He didn't come. So someone's pointing me out. So I crashed the two old bill comes up, push one outside. And I'm like, this is a scandal. How much can you handle? This is a scandal. I've gone and run across the road and got hit by a black cab. I mean, they never stop for black people anyway in them days, but I mean, to get hit and still not stop is a <laughs> effing scandal. I'm telling you. And so he didn't stop. So now I got up again and I run and five uh, Polish geezers or builders jump me as they're oh. streaming. Ah, so right, I'm learning Polish now so I can go and get them. But, um... <laughs> so anyway, crash now as your farmer. I'm on the floor now. And I've got all the guns out. I'm like, yo, this is good, isn't it? So they ripped the dress off. So I've got the bra on the ceiling on implants and I crash <laughs> um, and uh, they're standing up with the gun with the gun and so they find the gun and the money so then I go to the hospital 
They got all the MP5s. I'm handcuffed to the trolley. Yeah, they're in there, like, you know, uh, re re regiment of the year. Four MP5s around right me. I'm like, uh, looking like Sammy the Peanut, you know what I mean? Chain his bed, bra on, I mean, suspenders. I'm like, oh, how's your father? So, crash. Um, I, I get in there, and then we go to, um, you know, people got also realize with the game. Like I got Nick, so flying squad. We gotta understand about flying squad. We gotta understand all about the whole system, really. Is uh, I'm gonna say rigged. It's kind of I'm gonna say rigged. <laughs> <laughs> we say rigged. Um, it's kind of the you know they got their courts. So you know if they really think you're naughty, then you go to Wimbledon or Kingston or Wood. They've got their courts where they, you know, talk to the judge. They're all in it together, yeah. So they, they took me to a, a Hammersmith uh, and um, and uh, they asked me they asked me to if I would grass up my boys. I just, uh, the boys. And I said, look, mate, you got me. My bandage you over. I said, uh, I've held my hands up. You've, you've, you've got the, uh, you got everything you need. I, I said, I can't give my boys. I said, giving you my boys would be like giving the English to the Germans. Do you know what I mean? And Crash, he said to me, uh, he said to me, uh, you know what, Fish, you're going to do a long time. And I said to him, you know what, mate, no disrespect to you. I would rather do 15 years in hell and come up with my head held high than five years in paradise and never be able to look at my boys or friends again. Exactly. And I'll tell you now, it was quite funny with the flying squad. I'll tell you, this is quite funny. This is serious, mate. Crash out your phone. Bang on deadly. He shook my hand, flying squad, and went, you know what, Fish? You're a man of valor. And I was like that. <laughs> Received an award for thirty years dedicated to crime, but I know, um, you know, and you know, the, you know, I mean, you know, for flying squad to say that to me. And being in the game, that was massive. That to me, you know, we'd you know, we'd passed a good hurdle. Um, I've been it with guns before and that. they knew they knew I was never I wouldn't hurt old Bill. You know what I mean, Chris, they knew what I was about. They you know, if you were dirt and filth and scum, you know what I mean? Uh what is it I always say? I took on the bad guys, respected the good guys, stayed with the wise guys and stayed away from the full guys. So they knew what I was about. So crashing out your father. Um, they were sweet with me. So I'm getting the old Lexus now. I love it. Lexus, you know. <laughs> Not them old BMW X5. Lexus, you know, gold. <laughs> Side light. Woo, 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 woo. So I'm handcuffed in the back. And the joke is, they look like um, beards. And they look like us. He had a Foster T-shirt on. He's got the piece. I said, you want it, boy? He went, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm in the back of the car. I'm going, man, this is great. This is it. So we've got to go from Hammersmith to Wimbledon. Cool. Yeah, Hammersmith Police Station. So crown. I go, Gov. I got, I'm all anchored. Gov, oh, let's have the siren on, please, please, Gov. So the cop I think to me goes, Gov, can we have it on? So he goes, yeah, come on, why not? So they put us on, they go, whoa, 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 I'm going gangsters, 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 in the game, in the game. <laughs> yeah, and the old man, the old man said, uh, the old man said they gave me a good, uh, 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 um, a good um, statement, it made a good statement for me in the court. I said, couldn't have been that good. I've got 99 fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> and I must, uh, how, how, how well is this? How, where do these cameras go? How, are they, they, do they show everything? Yeah, yeah. We've got one on you, one on me, and one on both of us. So you can see. When I got my 99 years, <clears throat> I swear you're my mother's life. When I got my 99 years, I'm deaf. So me being the gangster I am, yeah. I've gone back with half the ump. I'm thinking, nah, man, anyone can do single figures. Who can do double figures? <laughs> so I've gone back, and my parents are there, all the other ones, and I said, listen, I've got half the ump. They said, what's up, son? And I said, Crash, how's your father? I said, I've, got, I've only got nine and a half years. I said, what do you mean? I goes, I wanted double figures. And then the prison officer come to me and said, no, you've not got uh, nine and a half years. You're doing 99 years. I was like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mate, I needed a foot pump to pump me back up. <laughs> Mate, I was in bits. 99 years. I'm like, ah! 
<laughs> Absolutely hilarious! Oh, mate, I'm like 99 years! Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. The 99 years, shall I talk about the 99 years? Oh. <laughs> Shall I talk about the 99 years? Shall I carry on there? Keep going. Okay, keep so going. The 99, don't stop. Don't the 99 stop. years. It was quite funny because we all getting it now. And my mate was sitting over, he can't see him in that shot, but he's EPP. Now, when we were getting sentence crash, yeah, the solicitor's going, fish, fish. She was a woman. Fish, you've got to be careful. There's this new sentence coming out. There's this new sentence coming out. I went, yeah. She said, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. It, 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 it's, it, it's forever. I said, listen, love, do yourself a favor. If they're going to give the sentence out, they're going to give it out. <laughs> what can you do? So you might as well accept it. Do you know what I mean? And for me, no matter what I do, I mean, the first thing, look, if you come and ask, if you came and listen to fish, do you want to go on a bit of work? Crash, I'm going to say to you, Sean, are you ready to do bird? Yeah. Now, if you go to me, uh, uh, I'll go, right, forget it. Because what you're telling me in that instance is, well, if it goes wrong, you're ready to grass. What I told everybody was, I've got a lawyer ready. Exercise your right to remain silent. Tell them we've got a lawyer and we'll take care of you from there. That's what we did. And only four people snitched out of over 100 who got arrested with, with us. Yeah. Hey, what a good fucking lawyer. You've done nine years. <laughs> Well, I was facing life. I was facing life, so. Well, I was in life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I always represent myself, and I got off. And I got off. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so give me this sentence, Sean. Yeah, Chris, I'm there. So anyway, the judge gives me this nine and a half. Dude. Oh. So anyway, now, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, right, 99 years. And I thought, well, do you know what, fish? Fuck it. 99 years. You're here. Let's enjoy it. And that's the problem. With a lot of people now, a lot of villains crashing out of your farm. They don't. Listen, bird is part of the game. It's part of the train. If you listen, if you can't do bird, don't play the game. It's like paying taxes. Who pays taxes? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Just tell me. I'm interested. I need to know. Law abiding people. <laughs> You're a law abiding citizen. I am now. <laughs> law abiding citizen he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a law-abiding villain. Sorry, I'm mistaken. Oh, okay. Yeah, if, okay. <laughs> Don't tell universal credit. <laughs> Don't pay taxes. But, um, Crash has your... <laughs> so Crash has your father. I thought, I thought, okay. We've got 99 years. So I thought, well, enjoy it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Why not? You know what I mean? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Listen, not going to... There are people worse off than you. There's little Ram Sammy in there with a pot of water in his head I'm in Africa, Asia, or Malaya, anywhere in the world. And they got to hop to the fucking well, get a pot of water, put it back in there to hop home. And by the time they get home, half it's gone and they got to go back again. You know what I mean? Like, there are worse things than I know. There are disabled kids. There are, uh, there are disabled people. There, there are uh, husbands in prison, wives, you know, battered wives. There's, there's worse things in the world than 99 years. And so, I just loved it and enjoyed it. Um, I did a Spanish degree, Habla Española, C, si, Bien. Uh, Bastante uh, Bien. Ah, uh, 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 Español. Un poquito. Um, in La Casel in Arizona, hay muchas mexicanas. Ah, bien. Uh, aprendo Español. No. Habla, habla uh, Español. Grande. Pero no personas uh, to hablar más. So, uh, there's no... Uh, uh, fuerte. I, I speak it for strong, but strong. I read it right. Yeah, it's going to be in the end. But what the headache is, we could now come out of prison and I'm not speaking Spanish to anybody. You lose You lose it. it. Yeah, I lost yeah. it, yeah. And, yeah. Then, and in Arizona, it's a lot of um, Mexicans got a bit of a different Spanish with their own That's slang. Right, yeah, yeah. Que yeah. onda way? Pinchy hura. <laughs> All this stuff, yeah. <laughs> but you obviously never said dos cervezas. <laughs> cervezas. Yeah, in prison. You didn't say no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else normally has the only Spanish they know. <laughs> I didn't say quiero tu leche either. Ah, milk. Yeah, which means. Okay. Which, what does it mean? It's Educate me. Sperm. Sorry? <laughs> sperm. Does it? Yeah. Hmm. Mexican, okay. Mexican um, Arizona prison slang. You learn leche. something now. Yeah. You learn something new every day. <laughs> oh, Gangster. Oh, <laughs> la, la crema de cajuate. 
What's that mean? That is um, peanut butter. You but... sure you're speaking Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> La crema. <laughs> oh. So anyway, Chris, you're fucking <laughs> No, I was off my London's craziest gang. London's craziest podcast. Oh. So anyway, Chris, how's your father? Um, so I've got this sentence. So I've done it. Uh, but one thing that was funny for me, and I'm seeing me when I'm in prison. I'm in prison. Don't want my get with everyone. I'm, I'm always kind of uh, the negotiate. Um, you know, the induction. I negotiate between the Muslims, the blacks, the blacks, and what they can. I always sort out the trouble. I'm always a violent reduction rep. And uh, when I first got nicked in 2006, crash for this rumor. What happened was, do you know they call me a transvestite? Transvestite. <laughs> oh, you know the fucking bra on a pair of fucking dress on a dress. Transvestite. <laughs> Cheek, I haven't got fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a wig? Yeah, oh, I had a wig, yeah. I attract, going back to, I will tell you about, I always tell my mate the best thing that really hurt me, the thing that hurt me, when I went in, uh, into that robbery, the manager said in his statement after I got near, uh, uh, that when I came in, he, you know, he thought it was a bit early for the cleaners to arrive. <laughs> I thought I looked like Naomi Campbell. I didn't even have a mop and bucket. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking cleaner. That hurt me more than getting nicked. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, got nicked in 2006. Crash out your father. Flying with on bird. Okay, we're 99 years. Could be worse. There's people doing natural life. There we go. So uh, Crash now, in the old days, 86, when I started with Frankie Fraser, uh, Lenny McLean and all that. It was it was all different. It was, uh, you know, it was all walk around one way. One minute in the showers, you had the uh, jean jacket with the rough shirts. Uh, straw, who remembers the straw jackets? Old school villain. Remember the old straw horse hair coats and chairs? Oh, mate. What year are we talking about? Uh, 86. 1986 now. Yeah. That's how I make Frank because what happened was, I wasn't a villain. I'm, 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 I'm as a public school boy. I used to work in a bank and everything. And then I got nicked um, for having an my neighbour and I gave her a slap. And I got 21 months for that. And I didn't give us a backhand. There's only, yeah, I'll tell you that story. Which school did you go? I went to Henry Cotton, but the private school, because I went young, I can't actually remember. But what, what I'm going to have to do is go back to my dad's things and, and get it all. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, but it was in Basingstoke. And I also did uh, adverts for, this is one beautiful of the books, Fruit Pastels and Keller's Cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I eat crunchy nut now. <laughs> Can we put that in the video? Is that available, that footage, anywhere? Do you know what? I, I'm going to have to get the pictures. Right? I don't know. We'll have yeah. to bring up the BBC, whoever it was for, or ITV, innit? Yeah. So, no, Crash had your father. So, I met Frankie Fraser. What's he like? Now, this is... Uh, i, I got to laugh, because Crash, 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 how your father? It, this is... People slag him off and say this is a bad thing. And I suppose they have every right to because of the things he's done. So we're not going to like condone a lot of the things he's done. But I can only speak for me personally. Remember, I, I'd only done one set before 18 months, which was, um, I'll tell you that in a moment, which was in a juvenile. I've come to uh, uh, Wandsworth. And you have to remember now, Wandsworth was the flagship. That, listen, there was no Belmarsh. There were triple A cats, double A cats, A cats. It was on. All the officers were Robocops, six foot two, all XMPs, two inch sleeves. They had the flat hats, the slit hats, no. Standing like what wilders, you know, the block screws in there, mate. On it. The chief was always nine foot two, built like a big shit house. On it. You know what I mean? And when they used to come, you know the way they come, you know when it all kicks off, innit? I know in America maybe it's worse, but you know when that, I used to call it a train. You know you can hear them running, can't you? You know what I mean? Boots, yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, did you experience any of that yourself, Sean? No, I was well behaved, but really? I saw people get tasered down and dogpiled. I was well behaved. I still got on the fucking train. <laughs> 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 I don't mean I don't mean he's dumb bird, you know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's a crash. Um, yeah, so so it was different there, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> shit, you know, I'm just walking around, not saying a word to no one. You know what I mean, you know, this, this, I'm out of my league. And then every morning I used to come out and crash out your father. 
there was a screw, a new screw in it. In those days, you had to slop out. So you had to get your shit and take it all in, slop it out, it's done, come back. So every morning, the screw would be by the slop out uh, area and crash out of your father. And when I come out and I go, morning to you, sir. It's all about the two R's. Huh? So I, I, every day I go, I go, good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you, sir. And smile. And one day he says, uh, fish? I said, yes, sir. He said, I, I don't get it. I said, what, what's wrong, sir? He said, every day you come out your cell, you always smile and you always say, good morning, sir. And you're all, but he goes, I don't understand why. And I said, uh, it's all about the two R's, sir. He said, two R's? I said, yes, sir. He said, what's the two R's? I said, you're one day nearer to retirement and I'm one day nearer to release, sir. Good day to you. <laughs> and so Frankie <laughs> saw me do this. And so Frankie says to me, mate, come here, son. I'm taking you under the wing because I like the way you carry on. And so Frankie, for me, I mean, I love it. I mean, he didn't have to know me. I was just a peanut. I was, no, he didn't have to do that to me. And he took me in the cell and he said, right, fish. And he told me I'd do bird. No pictures on the wall. Number one, yeah? All your letters and all your like personal go in a box and they stay under the bed. And the reason for this is when you have pictures on the wall, I don't know if you've experienced this in, in, in Mexico and that, but when you put pictures on the wall and the letters are out, then it serves two reasons. One, other prisoners can come in, especially now because they've got the mobiles in there and all that in there. They can come in and then try and get into your missus or get into that or say, I know this person. You know, it can get messy. Creates envy. Yeah, yeah. And, and then two, um, when the screws come in and you, you, they got the right arm with you and they're going to move you or down the block, they just rip up all your letters and all that, you know, like if you're a proper nasty bit of work, you know, I don't know, do you experience that? Absolutely. They come in, trash yourself, fucking bring the dogs in, they fucking... <laughs> Get all your pitches, rip them off the wall, throw them on the floor, just trample them on the boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that, yeah. See, and that's what you get for being good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, so he taught me that and I need to have a newspaper. And that has stood with me all throughout my birth. What about pictures when you go on a date? Sorry? When you go on a date. What, in prison? Yeah. So going on a date in Arizona prison means you got your black, um, you got your plastic sandwich bag, and you put a picture of your missus in it, mm -hmm. and you got your tape, and you go to shower, and you tape the picture to the wall of the shower, and it doesn't get wet because it's in the plastic bag, and you give it some of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, going on a date in Suelsa, I meant going out with Pedro, who was from Chile, and saying, <laughs> "Can you get your chili out?" <laughs> uh, 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 that's another story. Like, if I'm putting Pedro in a plastic bag, I'm like, "Are well, you gonna be on your nine? <laughs> I might try it next time. I'll put him in a plastic bag." <laughs> hey, Pedro, how are you? I'm suffocating. <laughs> <laughs> what's the point of having a fucking day if you're gonna put the bird in a fucking shower and have a wank again? What's the point of that? <laughs> you might as well just buy a magazine. <laughs> He's not his nut. Oh, we're gonna change podcast. That's London's greatest gangster. Oh, <laughs> no wonder the Mexicans are in trouble. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it's better than dating over here because uh, I was social. What's it called? Uh, um, what's it called? Um, uh, when I came out, it was all social network. Uh, what's it called? Plenty of fish and Tinder. Oh, yeah, hammered that. Yeah, so uh, well, I had a go, didn't I? <laughs> I thought I'd got to try it. And it was funny when I first came out. When I first came out, what year did you come out? 216. 216. It was funny when I recent. came out. Yeah. Because uh, when I, on my first day, I have to be honest, I'm in the hostel. And a fella comes up to me and says, are you fish? I said, yeah. I didn't know if it was that. He went, are you gay? I went, yeah. I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna, I'll be going to war. And then we ended up in bed together. And I was like, fucking hell, it's just a hostel or a brothel. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I had two fucking boyfriends in there. I'm like, man, this is all right. <laughs> I didn't even want to go there in the first place. You know what I mean? But I thought, crash, I could live here. So, so, you, did, so you, did, you went in 86, came out in 2016. You did 30 years on that. No, 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 no. I went in, in 2006 for the arm robbery. 2006. And then I come out to this. I did 10 and a half years. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So I'm just okay. telling you how I've 
how, how I learned about prison. Yeah, with keep Frank, going. Keep with, going. We're loving Frank, it. With Frankie Fraser. Yeah. And this is why I always love him. And so he, he taught me that. And it was funny because those of you who are old school villains will know when you're in Wandsworth, you had to walk around uh, the yard, remember the free circles. And so all us little peanuts would be on the outer circle. And then like the lieutenants would all be on the inner, inner circle. And then the chiefs would be in the little circle, walking Lenny McLean, Frank and all the rest of them. And it was just mad. I mean, we all had to walk, remember, you had to walk right, didn't you? It wasn't right around the circle. It was, no, you couldn't walk like you can now. And so it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, proper uh, eye opener. But Frankie taught me that. And so it's always lived through me. So when I got this sentence, I stuck to the same one. But what happened was, prisons changed now. Because a lot of them are now run by the Muslims, and that, that mate, I've got great. My brother's a Muslim. My pal, I've got great men. I've got the Quran and gold and everything, and I've, I'm educated. But what made me laugh is when I got there to ones with this time. I'm, I'm just like London's crazy gangs. I'm just like, well, no, I don't. I don't see what others might see. Yeah. So I didn't notice that no one was walking around the yard. And so uh, I'm just being me, like I am with you. I'm just, that's how I am. I'm loud. Uh, some people say funny, some people say not, but that's just me. I'm just me being me. It's how I am all the time, yeah? So Crash, how's your father? I'm walking around, uh, laughing and joking with the boys, you know? And uh, all of a sudden, a geezer came and, and bumped into me. Oh, so I said, oh, sorry. And he said, oh, I bought my glad you're uh, glad bucked into me when I said you know what go fuck your mother okay so anyway I'm walking around the yard no one else is walking I'm on my own and like with this other fellow who's a bit of a la la who's just I talk to anybody <laughs> <laughs> everybody's got something to say so crash out as your father I'm walking around and I see another one bandaging up his hand and then, then, then he's got remember this crew they're about 30 handed 25 handed so I see him bandaging the hand I'm laughing now because like, fighting's my sex Oh, I love a tear. Trust me. I, I love a tear. I, I roll all day long. See you know what I mean? After being bullied for so long and then coming out, I love a tear. up, Mate, any time. So anyway, they've now come behind me, yeah? So I'm now going to play Sammy the Peanut, now, which means I'm not dumb, yeah? So now they come behind me. They start kicking the back of my heels. So I'm playing Sammy. I said, oh, sorry. So now he thinks I'm shook, doesn't he? Well, two of them, right? So then the one who's now, who's going to up his hand, and he's come. He goes, well, you had trouble my blood clot, brother, for. So I said, I never told with your brother. So now he thinks I'm for for sure, don't he? <laughs> so he goes, what a boom, my clot, you had blood clot, trouble my brother, for. <laughs> I said, I never told with your brother. <laughs> So now he really thinks he got me, yeah? <laughs> so he goes, what are you my Because what their idea was, how they kept control, which I didn't know at the time, was they give a slap to you in front of everybody. And that's how they keep the power. I didn't clock this at the time. So he goes, what are you doing, my You are double my blood clot, brethren, for. So the whole fucking prison can hear it, as well as fucking Parker, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 mate, I'll tell you what, he might have had a fog or he could have been the prison alarm. So they crash out of your farm, huh? I've gone crash, crash. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone down the other one. Wait, 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 the speedball, because I used to box as well. And I was quite good. <laughs> and uh, crash out of your father. So anyway, he's gone down. Uh, that's something hitting the other one. But now, now, yeah, what's happened is, right, okay, go, 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 go back. I said I went. To, I used to go to public school, yes? Then I went to comprehensive, and that was where my dad made me. So I've gone from public school in my early years, and then at 12, 11, I've gone to comprehensive. So, but the problem with doing it that way, what happened was I was too far advanced. Secondly, I spoke really perfect English, like how does one go to the laboratory, how does one find his way to here and there? So what was happening was I was getting bullied by the Rastafarians, which to me, you have to realise, you know what I mean? I mean, I've got rust of fair mates and everything now, but at that time, going to public school, the only other black people I saw were sheep. And so when you come to London and then you see these Rastafarians, <laughs> you really do think you're looking at Predator. <laughs> you know what I mean? The way they carried on back then. Like, 
<laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that was your father on it, yeah. So anyway, crash out your father, yeah. I said, stop laughing, it's serious. I keep laughing, it's serious. So then, Chris, as your father, what I've done, my, I, in school, I used to hide behind, Ray, I hope you're watching this kid because you know what, I love you. I used to hide behind a guy called Ray Ball. Now, Ray Ball was the same side of me, but he was skinny. And I it was his shadow. And I always used to, he kind of protected me, Ray. Ray always looked after me. He, he, he wouldn't let no one trouble me. And I, so I was always following Ray. Love Ray for that. I always love you. And then what was happened is, as I'm fighting, the only man who came to my aid, because Ray was in it there, was Ray Ball. Ray Ball from Fulham, gangster. He was the only man that come to help me. Yeah, now remember, they're 30 handed. So anyway, I'm on the speedball now. Crash, 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 crash. We're on it now. Yeah. And what they've done, their henchman, <laughs> called Jabari, he and his boy have got Ray, because he's white, Ray was white, and they're stamping on his head, they're smashing the fuck out of Ray, I'm still on the climbing right now. So as the screws have come onto the yard, I've grabbed Ray, yeah? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not having this, so I've grabbed Ray, crash out your father, yeah? I've got come on Ray, let's get the henchman, but the screws... Have uh, 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 have dropped us and they're on the floor, so I'm fuming, yeah. And uh, I'm I'm saying, look, mate, oh, I'm going mad. So I'm slagging them off. I'm cutting them off. I won't say here what I said because I don't need enemies. <laughs> but then I was slagging them off. And I said to the uh, the one who stamped on me, I said, "See you, boy." I said, "Trust me, Mister Fish is mine." I said, "Trust me, you're mine." Please believe me. So anyway, we go down the block. And then all of a sudden, we're down the block. And I just heard this woman's voice. I've come for me, boys. I'm like, who the fuck is that? And I was banged up down the block. And crash out your father. It was the wing PO, the principal officer. So they're in charge of the wing. And so she goes, come on, come out, you two. And I'm like, what's going on here? She goes, well done. And what it was, we were the first people in the nick to take on the Muslim crew. You know, and then no one else, everyone else was shook. And they were taking the phones, the drugs, and everything else. Yeah? So they left the cell door open, and they're giving us fags and all this and that. Uh, we are having a party. But the next day after that fight, I've got to go to court for this, uh, the the, uh, for the robbery that I've done, yeah? So crash out your farm. I come back. I said, everything all right, Ray? I'm banged up with Ray, yeah? I had a pucker laugh. And Ray says, no, no, they can't. I'll put it on me. I said, don't worry, Ray. Tomorrow I'll go and swear. And Ray said, no, 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 please leave it. Because there was a lot of them. Do you know what I mean? But I'm like, no, no. So I said, right, I'll leave it. Next morning, mate, I come on that yard. I'm fucking fuming. Right? Now I'll come on that yard next morning. And I've gone, come on in. Come on in, fucking boy. Let's, yeah, you and your fucking click. Let's fucking see who's the fucking boy. Let, let's get this show on the road. Yeah? So crowd, let's do it. Yeah, so I'm on my own, crash. I'm, I'm just going in all for it. Let's do this fucking thing, yeah? So the head man, fair play to him. I love him. Now we became good friends. Uh, me and all of them became good friends in the end. We called Boxer. He was there. Um, big, tall, black guy. He was their kind of leader. And crash out your face. He pulled me. And he says, uh, Fish, come here. And I goes, what's up? He goes, Fish, Fish, look, look. We, we don't want it. It was a misunderstanding. I said, misunderstanding? I said, okay, cool, 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 cool. So I go back to where I am with my pals. And their henchman, you're right, he's looking at me like that. Walking around the circle. And I'm like, that, and I, so I go back to Boxer. I say, Boxer, do me a favor. Is it on or if it's or is it off? If it's on, tell me, and let's get this show on the road. If it's off, then tell that senior and E to stop looking at me. Because crash, it, I'm not having it. So he said, all right, all right, cool, 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 it's off. So anyway, because I'd just gone into the nick then, I was unfit, I hadn't really been training. So that way, what I'd done, from that week on what I'd done, I can train. I train on the concrete walls, metal hammer, bare hands, yeah. So I started training. I trained for six weeks. And even the Muslims and all their boys, they became good friends. I love them, yeah. And then and they came and they said, fuck me, Fish, you're training hard, didn't you? I said, I'll go, and I? People keep bumping into me, don't they? You know what I mean? So crash, yeah. Six weeks is gone. I'm ready now. On it. So then I'm standing next to Ray. Even Ray don't know what I'm about to do. 
It's association with all purple. The henchman's over there. I said, yeah, Ray. He said, yeah, what, what? I said, uh, if it kicks off today, will I still get my visit in the morning? He went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang, I'm run down and crash. Oh, I've hit this henchman. I have hit this kid who stamped on racer. I have hit him so hard you could have heard it in fucking Pentonville. Oh, I was sure. And I, I mean, I'm a talker. When I fight, I talk. Yeah, as you might notice, I can't stop. So crash out your father. I'm going to stand on my fucking boy's head. Stand on my fucking boy's head. Are you fucking mad? On my fucking, are you mad? Oh, phew, oh mate, I could have killed him. I'm fuming. So anyway, right here, we're both caning the life out of him, but unbeknown to us, crash out your father, what's happened is he has uh, annoyed the screws. So he's uh, spat in their face. So they've turned their back. So as we're smashing him, they're not blowing the whistle or pressing the alarm. And all that. So anyway, out of five minutes of us caning the life out of him, they've now hit the whistle. But as they've hit the whistle, they're like, fish and ball are walking! <laughs> <laughs> Fish and ball are walking. And when it says walking, it means when that train comes to take you away, they normally bend you up, hold your head down, and take you out. You might have seen it in the movies. So, but when they say walking, what they mean is don't don't twist them up, don't bend them up. They're walking. <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking like that. And uh, and and and, and Jamar is going, ah, ah, they style it, they style it, they style it. And I'm like, you fucking wanker. I don't know, you're supposed to be a fucking geezer. So anyway, crash has your father. We've gone down the block. What you have to realise now is uh, we used to own a club called Laser Drum in Peckham. And I had a, a security company called Final Touch. Notice the name, Final Touch. And it was, fucking always was Final Touch. Yeah. That's why we never caused trouble. But if it came, we dealt with it. So crash has your father. What is, I had a few prison officers on my security. So I knew all the screws in one. I knew all the governors. Because I always got on. You know, I'm like you. Whatever the fucking say, like, when the Gro, Go, Goves came in, the MP, I would always have to be the one to go and speak on behalf of the prisoners because I could speak proper English and quick and know how to behave. You know what I mean? Yeah, or Channel 4 News. Oh, Fish, do that interview. Or Anne Willicum. Oh, Fish, cut. I was always the man. I met more fucking MPs in prison than I did in the House of Parliament and I worked there. <laughs> fucking hell. That's another story. But anyway, crash, yeah? So we're going the block now. We're down. Now, you know the block, don't Locked you? Down, yeah. The block is, um, for those who don't know, the block is like a courtroom. Uh, for prisoners so you get Nick and then you have a thing called adjudication which is like a court case and you're allowed to give your evidence and so you know the, 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 we was kind of getting ready in a court but I get ready to go to court but I knew the governor the governor knew me well yeah so he said Fish what's that I said you know what Gov I said you know what I've been coming to this Nick since 1986 I said prison officers used to stand on the yard and prisoners used to walk round the yard. Now, you've allowed the Muslim clique to take over. They're taking the phone, they're taking the phone and all your, none of those, all your screws are behind the gates and now everyone's living in fear. So I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. Put me back on the wing, keep their henchmen down here and I'll give your nick back to you. Mate. <laughs> so the governor looked at me and goes, Fish. Fish. I can't have fatalities. I can't have fatalities. I said, Governor, <laughs> I'm not going to fucking kill him. We're just going to sort it out. I ain't got my gun anyway. So crack out your father. So him and the chief are now looking at each other. They're going, oh, you know. And the chief is like, oh, they're looking like fish. I can't have fatalities. And I'm going, God, there won't be fatalities. Leave it to me, please. So he goes, oh, okay, go ahead. So I go back to, oh, no, so we're in there. So Ray, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Ray, you know what, Ray? I love you, kid. You're the most far, Ray. So Ray's sitting there, or standing. We all, you know, when you go to adjudication, you stand up, right hand up, all respectful. So Ray, as we're about to go, Ray says, oh, excuse me, governor, can I say something, please? And the governor, he, he knows that Ray's the right little scallywag, you know what I mean? So the governor goes, what is it, Ray? He says, sir, I, 
I'd just like to say, sir, that as they were stamping on my head and I looked into their eyes, I felt like a newborn baby piglet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not here, I'm like, I'm like, this is the craziest I, shit we've ever I, had on this fucking. Oh, you're joking, you're crazy than me. <laughs> but I, I'm looking at him, yeah? Sean, I swear. I'm like, are you for real? I'm on the floor, I'm on the floor. I look at me laughing still today. It's a crash. <laughs> Anyway, we come out, we got the get out ball, get out right here. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we go back. So I go straight down to Boxer, the, the leader's cell. And I go, hello, son. He goes, you fucking, you, you can't, you're going to get done on every fucking wing. You're going to get, I said, listen here, you no good fucking piece of shit. I carry the Lionheart fucking sword and the St. George's fuck, the Lionheart uh, sword and the St. George's fucking seal. We've ruled the fucking world for fucking centuries, you fucking loon. I said, I'll on you, Anna. He went, oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, cool, cool, cool. He goes, you know what, you're all right. I said, Boxer, listen, son, listen to me. I don't do fuck all boxer. I mother mouth and joke. I don't trouble no one. I don't get no one. I don't get involved. I don't sell drugs. I don't sell phones. I don't do fuck all. And you've picked on me for no reason, boxer. No reason at all. I don't know your name. And I said, now look what's happened. You've lost everything now. Because what's happened now, I've done the henchmen. All the others have seen the little skinny black geezer like me do that. They've all now got power now and heart, and they've all started doing them, haven't they? So I said to Boxer, look, mate, my brother's a Muslim. I've got Muslim power. I've got nothing against Muslim, mate. Come, mate, they're my pals. But if you've got beef, have the beef with the government or the prison. Don't, don't have it. We're just trying to put bread and butter on our family's table, mate. That's, that's, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I said, now, look, you've lost everything now. And so me and Boxer and all the other Muslims, we became good friends. And I said to them, I said, gentlemen, look, let me tell you something now. It's all right being in one hour with your muggy click for an hour. What about when you get sent out to my nick? You know what I'm saying? Elstow, Coldley, the Mount, Swell Side, and you're not with your fucking powers. And I'm with mine. Then what fucking happens, you see? And so we all became friends in the shoot. And, uh, yeah, we ended up quite well. And so, uh, yeah, it was, that, that was the scenario of my first... Uh, a couple of weeks in fucking going and starting my 2006 to 99 year IPP sentence. <laughs> Man, what a story. You could... Oh, dear. You've got everything in it. Oh, don't even... Humour, drama, action, <laughs> violence, all the elements. Oh, thank you. What happened next to you that was dramatic after that? Ah. Uh, Mate, are you, are you talking in prison? You talking yeah, about... let's go chronologically. You've got uh, had your first few weeks, you just settled okay. that dispute, uh, did you pass your heart check. Well, well, the one I tell you before that, now I mean, well, I tell you what, don't go chronologically because you're going back because, yeah, jump, that, jump, jump yeah, around anywhere you want. We, 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 the best we, we, we was in scrubs once, and um, I'll tell you, I never caused trouble. Everyone knows I've done cause, but when it comes, oh, oh, okay. And so we were in Scrubs once. Yeah, we're talking about prison. We were in Scrubs once. And uh, Crash out as your father. My mate, Roger Buckingham, God bless him, he's on a life sentence now. He stabbed someone. and I don't know why you done that, Roger. You're off your nut, oh, mate. But anyway, done, done now, isn't it? I just hope you uh, serve your sentence and uh, you, you, life becomes good to you. But uh, Crash out as your father. Um. He had a watch. And I could, by the way, Crash Out of Your Father is a comma full stop. Yeah, I am not explain that. So, Bosch, he's got a lovely watch. Okay, beautiful watch. It's uh, like you know, one of these 200 fucking grand. I don't fucking know. Yeah, you know, I don't even wear a watch. <laughs> so, Crash Out of Your Father. This guy's took his watch uh, from Lambert Grove. Mr. William. I won't say his first. Name. And so... Uh, I'm standing there talking to him. I'm talking to you. I I don't realise at this stage that he's took the one. And then this Mr. Williams comes to my mate and says, uh, look, mate, I told you. We've lost a fucking watch. I don't care who your fucking mates are. Yeah? 
or, or what, yeah? Bring what you want, yeah? You're not getting your watch back. But he don't know that I'm his mate. So I'm like, I mean, I'm just sitting there like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. So once he's gone, I said, mate, what's that, mate? He said, oh, they took my watch. They won't get back. What do you mean they took your watch, Raj? He went, I said, mate, all right, after dinner, we go and get him. So anyway, in prison, as I said to you, I'm... I'm, I'm like by everyone. Like, yeah, I said to you, I'm the peace I'm Everyone knows the fish. You know what I mean? I'm like I am. I'm, I'm not about trouble unless it comes or people upset me. So crash out as your father. I, I get on with everybody, yeah? And so, you know, the whole way, remember, I teach boxing sometimes. And not just that. They've got issues with deaths in the family and they can't go. They want to smash the set. I sit them down and I tell them how to deal with it. And, you know, all the issues, the problems and... You know, whether you if you get a dear John, which is a letter saying goodbye from the girlfriend or wife, then yeah, so we deal with a lot. So Crash, how's your father? Um I come out at one thirty in the afternoon and I go down his cell. So what you gotta remember this story, this was a funny story now. Well, like I said to you, when I'm in prison, I'm just happy to go like I'm just me, yeah? <laughs> so every day, yeah, crack <laughs> out your father, yeah? <laughs> every day, I used to come out of the cell and I used to sing, Widdly, 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 dee. Are you a member of the... This is to the prison officers, yeah? So I'm turning the day to the prison officers. Widdly, 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 dee. Are you a member of the HMP? Please. <laughs> Got to remember that bit. Prison officer, please chat to me. We won't cause no trouble. We just want the key. Biddly, we leave it on, yeah. <laughs> so, any, so, so anyone who knew me for hang on, man, I mean, nut. <laughs> Who's this la la? Oh, you should be on the bus. <laughs> 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 oh my kill me can kill me can. so hey crash how's your father we've uh, uh <laughs> talk on down here now he i've got the roger go in mr william cell and sort this out yeah so i've come in with mr roger to make sure this geezer don't iron him out because the geezer don't want me so now this other guy wants to come in now he thinks I'm a la la because I'm singing biddly widdly 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 dee. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going, just move. And I'm going, mate, look, just wait. They're just sorting out an issue. And he goes, just move, man. Just move, man. I go, mate, I go, fuck, fuck it. Crash. Oh, I bet this guy. Oh, mate. Yeah, I'm just like, for fuck's sake, what is wrong? Why is it people, why is it people always take respect and kindness for weakness? And I'm like, I absolutely hate it. I hate it when people take your respect and, we, and then you have to do what you've got to do. And then they want to come and apologize and go, oh, yeah, you're right. Why is it they always want to get hurt before before they make that move? Yeah, and, Takers. And, and, huh? Why? The takers. I don't know why, but what I'm saying is, yeah, but they're getting hurt. You remember, I'm laying on brick walls, bare hand, you know? I'm a, mate, you're getting hurt. It's, but why? Why can't you just accept me for being happy and then happy go lucky? Why have I always got a switch? So anyway, I've crashed him now. And now what's happened is the screws have come to nick me. We were on B Wing Scrubs. So who else do you remember this one? Remember, boys, it was a good one, weren't it? Oh, on it. And then they come to nick me. Oh, the whole landing's gone mad. Leave him alone. They've thrown front all the tables and chairs. I'm like, so the screws are running in the corner. So I've had to go. No, no, because now I'm real. I'm like, mate, stop. This is mutiny. So I've gone, whoa, whoa, stop. Leave them. They're with me. They're all right. They're all right. I'm protecting the screws. So the screws have run downstairs. Yeah, like all the screws have run off the land, off the wing. So now it's mutiny, isn't it? Oh, mate, what we've done. So that's all kicking off. They go, oh, yeah, yeah. Got the watch back. Yeah. And uh, it's all kicking off now. So I've looked down the landing. I've seen all his right. I'm thinking, nah, 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 mate. So I go right. Everybody back to yourselves now. Everyone behind your door. Behind your doors now. Yeah. So they're all starting to go back, and I can see the governor's coming the wing on him. And he's looked up and he's thinking, who the fuck is that? And then he's looked up. And I see him. Cool, cool. So I got everyone back and locked the door. So anyway, the governor, I bang up, and the governor comes to me and he he, he calls me down the office. He says. Oh, thanks, Fish, for uh, putting them back in that. He goes, I'm going to let you go, but we're gonna, I'm going to charge all the I go, no, 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 no. Charge all the others with, with various uh, crooks on, yeah? And I went, no, 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 no. I go, no, Gov, we're all witnesses for each other. If you let me go, you've got to let them all go. 
So I said, all right, cool, cool. I go, come, mate. I go, obviously didn't get hurt. We protect them. You've got them all back. You haven't created a situation. It's not mutiny, do you know what I mean? So the governor said, yeah, yeah, sweet. And, uh, yeah, we got the watch back and uh, everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Did the guy who took the watch behave himself after that? Yeah, no, I know him. I met him in Swell Side again and uh, I, I know him. Um, you know, as I said, uh, Swell Side was a massive one for me. Um, Swell Side, um, you know, as I said, being gay, as I said, my first time, it was, it was, it was very hard in the beginning. Uh, when you're my generation, it's a very hard work, especially african parents and but anyway just in them days it was very taboo and not spoken about so it was always hidden so when and i came out of it and that's what i was always saying and i said on bobby kasanga's uh, podcast when you face your biggest fear and i'm not lying when you face when you face when you beat your biggest fear. So like if you're going for an operation hospital and you have all these fears about the operation and you have all these fears about what's going to happen. And, and to be honest with you, the fears are just ghosts. And then in my situation, you're always worried about what people are going to think and what people are going to say and you think you're going to lose all your friends. But you know what? Crazy how your father, yeah? I came out in a pub in Shepherd Bush called The Springbok on New Year's Eve, 10 to 12, New Year's Day in a pub, and it's a packed pub, and I've got my, listen up everybody, and everyone's like, who the fuck's this black guy, you know I mean? <laughs> it's 10 to 12, New Year's Eve, the music playing, and we're all lagging, sniffing, <laughs> dropping, and crashing out of your father, with some lunatic on stage, and he definitely ain't the DJ, and he definitely ain't the MC, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he's stopping the music, you're not even doing security tonight, you know what I mean? <laughs> So crash, um, uh, crash. Uh, so I said, look, everybody, I've got something to tell you. And, and after I've said it, you've got five minutes to take the piss. And after that, it's on. So I said, I'm gay. And uh, one of my mates turned around and he went, well, I'm fucking happy you fancy my brother, <laughs> not me. And that broke the ice. Oh. And, and I lived on. But one thing it taught me, and this is what I'm talking to you about, your fears. And anybody else out there, fears about anything, not just about fucking being gay, fuck gay, but just about anything, yeah? Don't be scared, you know, when you think, oh, what people are going to think, what people are going to do. People are so busy with all the worries in their own lives, all the pressures and struggles of their own life. They ain't got time to worry about what you are, what, you, what you've become. And so, you know, once you face your fear, your biggest fear, um, it, it, you couldn't do anything. That's why the IPP sentence never bothered me. So when I went to Swell Side, what happened was um, I had a I had a boyfriend there called Pedro. He was really not like me. He was really soft and timid. And what happened was one day he came in to me and he said, "Oh, someone just called me a poor." And so I was like, "Oh yeah." So I'm trying to. I've said this story before. I'm trying to be all soft and oh oh, oh yeah, uh, who? And he's going, oh, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. So I, go, I said, no, 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 but, but, but who? Just, just for, you know, so I know. And he's going, no, 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 hey, don't worry, bro. He, he didn't know what it was about. He just, we were together, like, you know, he's, yeah, but he didn't have a clue what it was about. So I said, uh, no, 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 um, you know, let's, uh, no, just, no. so he said, no, 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 it doesn't matter. So I've gone out of the cell and swell side, you know, swell side, it's, um, it's like one of the toughest prisons in the country. It's a big case. It's dangerous. It's called Knife Side. Um, it's it's proper. Um, it's, all the loons are there, all the nut nuts, and all the serious prisoners. And and but we swell side boys, big up to the swell side crew. <laughs> hi, hi. There's a good times in there, didn't we, boy? And uh, poor old Bertie lost his life, didn't he, to the ease? But um, cool, mate. Bertie, love you always. But uh, yeah, we had. Uh, Ray Camera, <laughs> baby Ray, <laughs> on it. <laughs> so anyway, crash as your father. I've gone out the cell. Oh, I'm not having you. And it's two, it's two, um, two landings. Long time ago. Snooker table, yeah. And crash as your father. The, the prison officer is playing snooker with one of the uh, prisoners, yeah. So I move them off the table and I go, right, 
Everybody, 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 listen up. Listen up. Listen, listen. So they've all come out there cell now. We've got to remember everyone everyone gets on with the fish. I mean, I love the I'm always I, mate, I'm like the mum when I'm in prison. You know what I mean? I'm like the mum. I deal with everything, right? If they want someone off the wing, then I have to go to the screws. We negotiate an egg off the wing. We need you understand I was yeah, I like if, if someone cut you or cut me, then I'll fish you. Do me a favor. What's up, son? Can you go upstairs, please? I remember I'm a boxing coach and we used to do the cuts and I've done the first. So I go upstairs and he'd be like that, you know, and his face out. And I go, mate, what are you? I go, mate, he's got to go hospital. No, he can't fish. He can't, he can't go. He's got to go up in hospital. He can't, he can't. I go, what the fuck has he done to, 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 to deserve that? Well, he didn't pay for quarter ounce. <laughs> a quarter ounce of tobacco. I'm like, for fuck's sake, gentlemen. <laughs> and then he took his life, you know what I mean? A quarter ounce of muggy tobacco. You're killing the geezer. <laughs> Oh, I mean, there are some nutters in there. Lewis, big up Lewis, Lewis. Oh, mate, off there, nuts. <laughs> so then crash out your father. I'm on the pool table. I'm shouting. Everyone listen up, listen up. So everyone now comes out. And I say, listen, see me and my mate. We eat meat and we love it. Now, if there's anyone here who's got an issue with it, yeah, that's not a problem. Bring what you want, who you want, as many as you want. And there's my Peter. And the Peter is a cell. And the Peter, we call it Peter because the safe's, were made by Peter Safe, and so we always uh, or Peter Bannum is it Peter Bannum? And I think by Peter Bannum, so they always call it a safe. Or Peter Lee, what why is it called a Peter again? Is that, is that reason because Peter Bannum made the safe? Could Peter Bannum made the safe, and so we used to call it Peter. And he made the cell doors as well. Lee's my pal, he's up his night. If you go to London's craziest gangster, you will see my interview with him. He's the son of George George um Elliot, who's a old time, real time gangster. Trust me, George is George. George. Ugly George. <laughs> Wait till you see this, he knocked me spark out. We will uh, put, in the, if you're watching this, we'll put links in the description box below the video for your uh, YouTube channel. Thank you. And for your interview with Lee. Oh, we'll send you some people. Thank you very much. Yeah. Don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no Sean Atwood. <laughs> I know you want more fish in your class life. and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, crash as your father. So I said, bring what you want, as many what you want. And so anyway, everyone fished all right, cool, cool. So the boys came to me and said, fish, what's up, mate? Like, I don't know, someone there. So they found out it wasn't, they'd done him. You know what I mean? So um, that was mad. That, that was a situation. And I, and I was always the violent reduction, Rick. Every prison I went to, I was the violent reduction, yeah. And yeah, I got kicked out of every nick for fighting. <laughs> Lucky, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what violent reduction are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So, so describe that job then. What get, take us to one of your like days where you're at work doing some violence oh. reduction repping. So violent reduction. See, for number one, I'm induction and violent reduction. For me, it's all about. For me, like, I just tell people induction. Look, we're in Nick. Yeah. You gotta understand. You get Nick with a phone, you're gonna get you're gonna get in trouble. So, gentlemen. You gotta make sure you hide your fucking phone. Do you know what I mean? Don't be turning it on in the day. Don't have it on at night when they come around with the scanners. Know what you're fucking doing. Control your phone. Do you understand? Or hide it properly. Like, do you understand? I used to give that on the induction. And I said, like, look, teach the officers with respect. Because the joke is when you think you're having a go at them and you take it, we are the ones who get locked up. We're the ones who gotta wait three hours while they take care of you. And then if that officer's got the hunt with you, he's gonna have the hunt with us. So now we're not getting our applications done. Now we're not getting banged up for association. We're not getting opened up for association, all because you fucked up the officer. So keep them sweet, gentlemen. It's common sense, you know what I mean? It's their ship, not not ours. You know what I'm saying? So I was always trying to help people how to do burr. But um uh one of the funniest things. Um. Uh, so 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 my day would always consist of like if people beat somebody up, then I'd have to go there and find you know. See, people had faith in me because I, I, I always had to try and do it properly. I, you know, I was violent reduction, it, but I'm not going to tell the screws unless unless there's something real dangerous and we got to move a geezer, you know. So crash as well. I say, oh, we're going to patch him up, and I'd have to take him down. And then say, look, Gov, this is happening now. You fell over and, you know what I mean, and get him out. And so, yeah, so that was, um, you know, a part of my, but my role weren't just that. There were, there were kids in there and, 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 and men whose dad died. And um, he said to me, oh, fish. I went, what's up, son? And he goes, no, oh, my dad died. I mean, I'm going to smash the cell up. So I sat down and I said, listen, son, no disrespect to you, 
Yeah, they won't let me go to the funeral, he said. Yeah, it's a crash. I'm like, do you know what, son? Look, death is death. Yeah? You remember your dad here, not here. They, they, not here. You don't need to go to the funeral to remember your dad and the good times and the happy times. You don't always have to go to the funeral, gentlemen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? And when you die, I always say this, this is what people don't understand. When we're deaf, people that pass to the other side, they never, ever, ever want those they leave behind to be unhappy or sad. Otherwise, they've died for nothing. That's why you get the expression, died in vain. But no. When people die and pass to... They want you to use their death to strengthen you. And my brother died, how long now? Five months and my dad two months. My brother and dad died saying, yeah. Mate, their deaths, listen, their deaths have strengthened me. I, I, even now when I say their names, I'm, I'm, I'm live. Like you, you come and do what you want. I'm, I'm, I'm strengthened. It, it don't hurt me. And I still talk to them. And that's another thing people don't do. People don't talk to the dead. And oh, I miss my mum. Oh, I miss my mum. Why do you miss them? talk to them you have to talk to them first though. otherwise they can't talk back to you and so you use their death to strengthen you and you say okay i'm going to do this for my mum. i'm going to do this for my dad or i'm going to do this for my son or whoever's died and then um you you no one can't beat you or stop you because you've got their strength in you and their spirit in you and that's how death should be done and treated you don't have to go to the funeral to see someone put in the ground I'd rather I went to Mumba, I, I, I didn't go and see my dad in the coffin I, I like to remember him alive mm -hmm. I don't need to see well, I don't need to see him laying in the coffin mind you he had your suit on <laughs> <laughs> sure you're not dead <laughs> you're, you're dead in you I'm out of taste <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, so be a violent reduction it's not just about that and then they have a prisoners that get hurt Um, but then we had some good times um, <laughs> Fish had good Listen, times. Uh, <laughs> can't we bring old Paul Ray and sit him here? Can't we sit him here? You want to bring Lee? Lee, come here, kid. <laughs> now we're saying, right, come here, get a chair. Lee. <laughs> now we're gonna. You know what? People always think prison's the end of the road. And um, so were you in with? I, I was in with Fish. Yeah, yeah gotcha. 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 Is there another chair? Well, we will hook this up, no problem. Yeah, sorry, I do, but you know what? I think I think, bring Lee I think, bring Lee I think you need to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is my good pal. We met in prison. <laughs> I met Lee in prison. We met in Spring Hill. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, Lee, say hello. Hello, Sean. All right, Lee, cheers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, Lee, tell them how you met me in Spring Hill. Tell me what. Come forward a little bit to the oh, mic. Okay, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, <laughs> I met fish in open prison. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spring Hill open yeah. prison. Um, I've come from. Like, 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 bring your face closer to me. I've come yeah, from uh, a sea a, a cat prison into a D cat prison, which is an open prison. Okay. They let you go on home lease. Yeah. They let you uh, uh, work, drive, stuff like that. But you always have to come back to the prison. <laughs> and I've pulled up in the car <laughs> with my uh, mother of my children. And we've got out of the car and we've got to wait a little bit of time to get uh, processed for reception, okay? And I'm standing there and I'm having a kiss and a cuddle and I'm saying goodbye. And I've looked up and there's this big black guy just staring at me like that, okay? And I turned to my, uh, to my baby mother at the time, my girlfriend at the time. I said, who's, who's this geezer looking at? I said, what, the, what the fuck's this geezer looking at? I said, I mean, what's he, what, what's kissing or what? I thought, I thought I'm going to have a fight as soon as I've gone in this prison. Was he doing the thing with the eyes? Yeah, the uh, mad eyes. And he's looking uh, and he's... I'm like, hang on. Because I'm the induction on me, yeah? And I'm waiting for him. And I'm standing there. I've got to get him pros again. I'm so I'm like, are you coming today, mate, or what? <laughs> So I'm thinking, who, who is this mad prisoner talking to? <laughs> like, so anyway, I've, I've, gone, I've said goodbye to the missus and uh, walked into the reception. I thought, oh, I hope I don't see that geezer when I walk in the prison. <laughs> Lo and behold, 
<laughs> Trust me, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Lo and behold, all of a sudden, Mr. Fisher's walked in. <laughs> He's gone, hello, mate. <laughs> and I just put my head down. And I no, thought, oh, God. Oh, hello, mate. I'm the induction <laughs> over here. Yeah? Ain't like that. <laughs> yeah. I thought, oh God, I've been staring at this geezer. I've asked my missus if he wants to fight, and now he's got to show me around the prison. <laughs> I've got to walk around the whole prison with this guy. And I thought, well, right, here we go. So we've walked into the prison. <laughs> we've walked into the prison, and he's shown me around the prison. Oh, yeah. And uh, we got back to the induction wing, which is the first wing that you go on. And. Uh, all of a sudden, was, he's mad as a hatter, and I thought, all right, he's nuts, whatever. He's showing me around. And uh, all of a sudden, he said, wait there a minute, mate. He said, I've just got to go and see this fella. And he's walked over to this big black guy with a beard. He's gone, hello, mate. Crash! <laughs> and I looked around, and I thought, what? What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> and when I say this guy was about three times the size of him, <laughs> and he's flat out, knocked Spark out on the floor. Right? <laughs> and he's come walking back over to me, walking back over to me, and he went, Right, now it's time for your induction. <laughs> and I'm looking round. Is this geezer for real? I said, what, what happened there, mate? He went, don't worry about that. He said he was picking on someone that was younger than him. He said he thought he was old, so I knocked him out. I said, okay. I said, what cell am I in? He went, opposite mine. I went, oh, no. Oh, no. But I didn't know he was gay. I didn't know who he was. Um, nice ass. We, yeah. <laughs> we got talking and uh, we got to find out that we knew the same people. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously yeah. through uh, my dad and stuff like that and the people we know. And uh, so we got talking. And Don't make him out that he's a villain. Listen to this, I'm telling you now, yeah? I used to go out every weekend, we used to go out every weekend, right? We used to go out every weekend, you know, I just, they don't make me out, yeah? So anyway, we used to always bring back the gear in it, have a little party in there, innit? You know what I mean? Anyone has been for you, you know the coup in it. Right? So every time we went out of town with it, they would know, you know, yeah, the cover's coming, all the years are coming, whatever. What was that mad drug they give us, that THBC you, one you was on? 2CB. <laughs> is yeah, that where it's? Oh, that's mate, one. don't go there. Do not go there. Definitely not. So anyway, crash, yeah? Fish on 2CB. Right. Can you mate, imagine oh, that? Mate, mate. Stop it now. Oh, this is nothing. Stop it now. So anyway, you crash out your father, you listen to you, he's like, he ain't no hard man, this ain't this, yeah? So we're all on the gear, we're, right, we've got the wonk box on, and everyone's, yeah, this is Parker. We're raving, oi, oi. And then it comes to 11 o'clock, now 11 o'clock is like when the screws have got to come round and do the search, yeah? He's jumping in the bed with his clothes on. I got a little bit paranoid that the screws are going to notice that we was off our nuts, because he was running around the prison naked. <laughs> now you can understand where I'm coming from, right? Why was I running around the prison naked? Chasing people. Oh. <laughs> Chasing people naked. naked. On the next time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is in the first couple of days. You have to remember. <laughs> huh? So I'm, I'm thinking, he's shouting and screaming. Killing me over here. Oh. He's shouting and screaming. And the, oh. the officer's oh. uh, office is just across the road from our hut. And they're all looking uh, like that. He's running around, black man running around the prison naked. Okay? Chasing people, going, uh, all this sort of stuff. And I'm just, I'm just... Luke, trying to take Luke it. James, do you remember that? Jamie Cock, James Cock, do you remember that? I Spring your word, did we have to crack on? So, oh. so I got a bit paranoid that the screws obviously noticed the noise and noticed that there's a black man running around naked. And... Uh, I decided to jump in my ah, bed because I know they're coming. He shit himself. And I hid under the covers because I was all paranoid on this drug. And I'm running in going, they're coming! They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a young wanker! He's hiding under this shit! <laughs> the screws this didn't is... come round. I was under that sheet for three hours. <laughs> Three hours. Three hours. Wait, yeah. Tell them what the screws get when they go out about, about the noise. Remember when they goes to me, oh? Brown. 
We're over there and we can hear your voice from over there. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? What is going on? Nothing going on here. He goes, keep it down. Yeah, so because Fish is on the wing, he's oh. a dust lord, they, they didn't come across. But it, 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 we had a good time. We had a very right. good time. We're having a good time right now. Oh, this mate. is what podcast should be about. Mate. It's not my way, is it? When people Having are, fun. Yeah, when people mind about prison, that's what I'm saying. It ain't prison to us. We have to laugh, the crack, and it and I mean, I, I was in, I was right. So before I was induction ordinary, there's a fella, yeah. There's a fella. Before I'm an induction ordinary, yeah, there's a fella, and this fella, he well, I think before you he was the induction ordinary. So he's promised me that when he goes, he's going to give me his job. Yeah? And I've been induction ordinary, every nigga going, I'm very good at it. All the prisoners will know, and the boys have been the go. So Crash, he gives the job to somebody else. Huh? And I'm like, something, wait, no, wait, wait, let me start. Before I start, this guy was very bad news with all the lifers and all that. Everyone had the other one, proper fucking screw boy. Do you know what I mean? Like this, when I'm in Dutch, I'm not screw boy, we're still one of the crew, yeah? So what he'd done, Crash and your fire, he promised me the job. But what he's done, he's, he's, uh, he's given the job to somebody else. So I thought, right, so when you get done for fighting in, 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 in a DK, you get kicked out. So I've got the brick, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this cunt. So all the, uh, oh, what was the uh, Colombian geezer? Um, the big cocaine dealer. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, he's... Escobar, wasn't he? Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a crazy as your father, yeah? Oh, I forgot his name. He said to me, oh, fish. Don't do it. You get kicked out for me. Please, please, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. And uh, so I go, oh, I promise you, my mother's lying. I won't do it. <laughs> Ten minutes later, I'm back to I'm crash. I break this window. <laughs> so the screws have come to him now, yeah. And the screws are on crash. The screws are on crash. Like, they've took him to, uh, what's that near across the road? Um, Grendon. But, but, oh, yeah, Grendon. Grendon. They took him to Grendon, yeah. So crash. I don't know, Grendon, and now I've got the job. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, crap, later on, later on, I go to Ford. Oh, no, no, hang on. Let me tell you how I got a fucking... Tell yeah. him. <laughs> you, you tell him. <laughs> no, you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crash, how's your father, yeah? I'm trying. My pals, Barry Boy, uh, uh, fucking see all their names, I can't say Terry Joe's boyfriend, Gocha, all the boys, uh, you know, all the all the Ronan, all the Brighton boys, yeah. So they all said to me, Crash, how's your father? Move down to Brighton. Oh, it's a city there, guys. It's a city. So anyway, I thought, all right, let me move down to Brighton, get away from London. So I'm trying to say to the probation sort of, oh look, I've got a coat problem. I can't go back to London. If I do, Crash How's your father, yeah, it'd be devastating for me, yeah. So Crash How's your father. They sent me to um, Kingston, like, the hostel, yeah, I'm home leave, yeah? So I go to my pal, oh, and I go, like, give me a gram of gear, all right? So he gives me a gram of gear, I go back, I'm snipping up all this gear on, and on purpose, yeah, to get. So I'm just about leaving, like, but I was so good at prison. And I go, ah, oh, you ain't got to have a test. I went, no, 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 you forgot to know, test me, test me, yeah? I wanted to see if the gear was good anyway. <laughs> I'm right out, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, great to have your father, yeah? I've gone back in it and I've gone to the and then like, listen, mate, I've had a drug test, yeah? And it's positive. He went, why? Why had you done that? Why had you done that? I went, mate, don't worry about it. Watch this. <laughs> so anyway, they call me up, yeah? They say, Mr. Fish. I said, yeah. Can you come to the adjudication room? <laughs> I said, yeah. They said, uh, okay, Mr. Fish, you've tested positive for cocaine. Uh, do you want confirmation? I thought, yeah, I'll have confirmation. I want to see what percent it is in case I get in the case I got knocked. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, two weeks later, it's gone by and they've got confirmation. Now, you have to understand, in prison, if you get a drug test, it comes back positive, that is it. You are guilty. There's no, it's in your system, there's nothing you can say that can be it. That's it. You're guilty. So I've gone in, and they said, oh, hi, Mr. Fisher. Okay, it's coming back uh, uh, from confirmation. It's positive, and um, right, how do you plead? I went, not guilty. <laughs> what? 
not guilty. Not guilty is unheard of, Mr. Brown. I said, right. I said, yeah, well, I've gone down the hospital for breakfast, gone to my gay mate's party for tea. He's put a fucking a gram of fucking pet on his dick. I've gone down there for dinner and crashed out your father. Contamination, isn't it? <laughs> I said, mate, I've gone now, my mate, down in the hostel for breakfast. My mate's had a party. I've he's put a grandma sniff on his private parts, and I've gone down there for dinner. Contamination. <laughs> I went, what? Are you at? Mate, I goes, I goes, no, nah, no, nah, we're not having it. We're not having it. We're not having it. We're not having it. Oh, mate. He goes, you would have known. You would have known. I said, listen, I don't carry a drunk testing kit, do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, I beat the case and everyone's gone mad. The whole prison army. <clears throat> no, even the governor, fair play, shook my hand. the printer there. Everyone's on the floor. But the thing is, it, it's gone too mad. Um, It's gone uh, too, too mad. And the crash house, your father. Like it, the governor comes and sits me one day. He says, "Fish, you've got to stop talking about this this scheme because everyone's going to use it and say I'm going licking out my bird." And you understand? So they said, "You've got to stop." You know. Uh, so so I said, "Listen, governor, I stop talking about crime. I stop talking about uh, um, uh, anything criminality. But don't tell me to stop talking about." It. So he shipped me out to Bullen. Um But yeah, Spring Hill was funny. And then then I had, I had another uh, boyfriend in Spring Hill. Didn't I? They went mad. They all went round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a boyfriend of one might stand. That was mad. And, and then we had, um, remember when I hit the geezer? No, the other geezer. I knocked his spark out. Is that what you was mentioning yeah, earlier? Yeah. Remember, yeah. Was... What happened with the one night stand then? Oh, done. I mean, you're only thin walls. You know what I mean, honestly. <laughs> Be careful in there. You know? I wonder the whole fucking prison found out about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Okay. I'm going to save him the embarrassment. But I won't speak you a lot. Let me, I mean, for me, for me, because what you have to understand, Fish, yeah? Yeah. For a person that didn't know you when we come in the prison, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> like I met you on that first day, right? And I didn't really know you on that first day. The second day, okay, I went down to the field next to the gym, you know, where everyone ran around the field, oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I was standing with one of my mates that come from the mount with me. I said, "How mad is that, Mister Fish? <laughs> How mad is he?" He said, "Oh, he's proper fruit loop, that guy, <laughs> wasn't he?" He was going, yeah, he said, but we have to understand, he might be gay, he might be black, he might be mad, but he's one hard cunt. <laughs> I said, okay, I saw I, I see him knock someone out the other day. He said, you see him knock him out? He said, well, look what he's doing right now. <laughs> and no word of a lie, Sean. He was punching a tree trunk, right? Very... And the bark is flying off the tree trunk. And he's going, yeah, da, 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 da. And I looked at my mate and I said, what is his problem? What is his malfunction? He said, he just don't give a shit. <laughs> and that's, that's what I liked about him, that he didn't give a shit. But yeah, that, for me, for me, it was... Uh, oh, we had toilet know. rolls in socks. Was yeah, that a punch bag? Yeah. Oh, no. Hand tree man. trunks. Yeah, mate, tree trunks. Mate, bare handed. Bare handed. And then he used to, like, we'd go in the dinner hall and if it was someone's <laughs> birthday... He would scream at the top of his voice, <laughs> Happy birthday! Wait, 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 wait. You gotta remember this, Sean, yeah? You have to remember this, yeah? There's 300 people in a dining room. We're all hardened prisoners, yeah? Now, if I found out it was your birthday, yeah? I'd go, Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lee. Happy birthday to you. Everyone, give it up. Hip, hip. Hooray. <laughs> You'd be cringing like that. Standing on the table. Oh, but yeah. you got to remember there's murderers in there. There's oh, hard and gangsters in there. There's every type of walk of life in there. Oh, we... And everyone is cringing yeah. because this guy's on top of a yeah. table yeah. singing happy birthday. But, to but they're all singing it in there and everyone out there. But everyone's birthday going, oh, don't do it to me. But when we done it, they loved it. I mean, can you imagine 300 prisoners singing happy birthday to you? Oh, it was class. It, it was... It was absolute mm. class, and uh, oh, they were funny times. Uh, listen, <laughs> for for me, it was. Uh, I know you're not supposed to enjoy prison. Oh, I, I, mate. I know. What? I know you're supposed to what? learn your lesson if you like. 
I'm but, going back um, next for year. Me, it was, <laughs> for me, it was uh, <laughs> an eye opener of if you take away the fact that you're in prison, all right, and if you take that out of your head and you just get on with your bird as most prisoners have to, all right, it can turn around to be yeah, one of the are. best times of your life. The camaraderie, the gallows yeah, humour. It's, yeah. it's all the men yeah. together. Yeah. It's the laughs that you have. I mean, do you remember racing on the on the <laughs> floor polishers down the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> Having races on floor polishers. Do you remember that? Mate, don't worry about the fun fair. Go and spring hill. <laughs> but yeah, things like that. But just... just, just oh, mate. To, uh, to have uh, such, oh. a, such fun, such such... Such a laugh, and um, it, it, it was uh, it, it was mad. It was mad in, uh, on a scale that I've never yeah, was, uh, yeah. seen in prison before. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've, yeah. I've done quite a bit of bird myself, but I've never had such a good time in prison. <laughs> oh, yeah. really yeah. And that's it's who you're around, isn't it? It is who you're yeah. around. Yeah. That's why yeah. I wanted to bring him on this part here, just to you know, you've got people got to see like with prison. It's it, it's not prison. For us, for, for us, yeah. we enjoy the experience. It's, yeah. We had the best. Look, we've been mates now since we come out. We're always having a great laugh, pucker and but um, oh, it's some of the wickedest laughs in there. Remember, I used to run around with one arm, Mark. <laughs> Remember, he had one arm. Remember, Mark's tell him I'd be running around, he'd be running behind me with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, it was just mad, you know. And um, you know, like I said, there again, we took care of the bullies. Do you know what I'm saying? Um. You know, and that's why you got kicked out. Really, it wasn't because of what you kept saying. It is because you had the influence over the whole prison. Yeah, and the whole prison listened to him. You know, he wasn't just an induction orderly. He was uh, yeah, everywhere I went. Now. He was the people's yeah. person, if you like. He was the prisoners' person. Do you know what I mean? We could talk to him. He was on our level, but he, he also knew how to talk to the screws yeah. and and sort problems out. So that, that's how what fish was about in there. You know, so. But he had such influence, like, you know, when he was telling everyone um, about how he got offered a case and that, you could see the officers was losing control, okay? It wasn't... Oh, and now, that, now you tell me. But that's what they could, didn't like. They were losing control, you know? They didn't have uh, the authority then. He had more authority than they did at that point, you know? And everyone was listening to them. So even if they were getting told something from the officers, they would go to fish, should we do yeah. that? <laughs> You know, and they go, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> like, otherwise, we're gonna have murders. You know, so that. And when he when he got kicked out because they couldn't have him there, basically, he was too influential. That is the point. And when he left, it was like it was like going back to prison. Yeah. The whole atmosphere changed, wasn't yeah. it? It was like going back to normal. And a similar thing. The Aryan Brotherhood were running it, and then the Italian mafia took over from the Aryan Brotherhood in this building we were at. And it was the best we ever fucking had it. The head of the head of the Italian mafia was outside smoking with the guards at night, giving them orders. Yeah. If you wanted a right. cellmate in with you, one of my co-defendants in with my cell. Really? He was running it, and it lasted for months. Oh, wicked. We would go. Uh, we went to like the church services, and we were all. There was a guy called Jumping Bill with the guitar, guitar yeah. and he had us all jumping up and down <laughs> doing the pogo, yeah. and we were just laughing our asses off. It lasted for months. You sound like you had a good time as well. Yeah, Sean. but only lasted for a few months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he got rolled up, moved on to the feds or the prison yeah. system, and um, Aryan Brotherhood took back over. Oh, okay. It got moody yeah, again yeah, then. Yeah, it was all yeah. fucking... And that's people. exactly... It's exactly the same yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah. And that's in hard time if you want to read that. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, the yeah. same scenario. So it was like going back to normal prison. I, I was okay because I was out a couple of weeks later, but... Yeah, we it, were it, all depressed as soon as that guy left. Yeah, like, and that's yeah, we felt yeah, like it's like your birds broke up. If you yeah, something, yeah. was all my happiness and fun gone? Do, yeah, but this do, is do, it. Do you know what? I, I got a laugh. Um, I went out to uh, Elstow in Bristol, and it's miles away. And I had to go and do an iron robbers course. I've never done anything because they said I didn't have to do it. But Crash out as your father, I walked on the wing, and I always say this: my voice will get me killed before my face. The whole wing's banged out, and the officer said, oh, this is your I go, oh, thanks a lot, Governor. And all you got to do is, Fish, is that you? Fish. I go, yeah, who's that? He goes, that's me. I go, oh, hello, boy. Well, oh, yeah. Fish is here. Gags, the gang, yeah. We're going to have a laugh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Whatever Nick, I went. And whenever I left that, they go, I was shit about you. It was just crazy. Whatever Nick, I went, it was just, Lit we up. had the best laugh. And Lit it up. I just shout on the landing. They can't hurt us! <laughs> <laughs> they can't! 
Ah, oh, no, the mm. people screwed and pissed themselves off. Mm. <laughs> mm. It was like a scene out of McVicar, wasn't it? Because uh, we're not going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> how long did you guys manage to be around each other for inside? Huh. Yeah, like over a period of years. He lived next to me. He lived next to me. Yeah, tramp. Couple of years. Yeah, he lived next to me in the clean. Oh, I done my life. We've seen each other. We've been crossing each other, looking at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good couple of years, and as I say, couple of years. Yeah, a good couple of years. Um, but yeah. obviously, I've got to know Fish a lot more as a friend yeah. um, since we've been home. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, we've uh, we've we've done our bits and pieces, and and we've been there, and we and, and we've seen it. But for me, for me, Fish is a, a lovely guy. You know, he'll help anyone, help anyone. Right, come meet. But he's also a man that you just do not cross, if you like. You know, well, like you said, don't take problem. kindness for weakness. Uh, that's the problem. And that, and that is the problem. You know, they see him joking about, they see him laughing and bit of a character and, and some people take that for a weakness you know some people don't realize what he's actually about and and to all your viewers and that you know he, he might look like he's having a laugh and he's crazy and stuff like that having a laugh. and he's crazy but um <laughs> all podcasts should be this much fun <laughs> this is setting the bar <laughs> for future podcasts oh, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's also got a very serious side if you like you know and uh that's a side that not many people get to see, and I, I'm glad that they don't get to see it. But um, that's but, why he is the craziest gangster in London. But it's not for people to see. I'm not that kind of gangster. I don't want to hurt yourself and innocent. But I'm not on that bus. I we I like to help you. You're in trouble, and and you know it's not all about money. Sometimes people don't have the money that you need to pay someone to step in and sort out an issue. And so all my friends and my family, as you would be family today, just like all the other ones that I've been on. And um, yeah, it's, you know, it's not about hurting people. It's not about um, being flash or I've got this or, you know, it's nothing to do with that. Money's not even my God. And that's another great thing about the fact. It's just to do with, I just love people. I just love helping people. Um, I know what it's like to be in pain. And that's why I always say, uh, pain became my friend and my friend wanted more. Happiness, my slave. Love can't hurt me. Money can't buy me. And it's those that hate me that make me. And that's what I'm saying. It, you know, they're the rules that you have to be in the game. But it's never even really about me. I never put myself first. I should, I should start putting myself first. I'm serious. I should start putting myself But um, that slogan, look after number one, never sat with me. It's always look after us. And... Uh, now, hopefully, I suppose we're coming to the end of the show. I will say on that note, um, that's what it always will be. And um, I'm happy to admit you today, you're nothing like he said you were. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. He told me. <laughs> Please, not one of them. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It was, uh, it was all, all, all good. Um, it's been um, great talking to you, meeting you, um, as it's been meeting all the other people, Marvin, uh, Bobby, uh, Devontae, and all the other people that I've done that podcast with. It's been great meeting you all. Uh, thank you for giving me a chance to uh, come on your show and um, share some of my experiences. I'm happy you love, and I've got to be honest, you absolutely made me laugh. And it was, it was vice versa. You loved the suit. You had never wore a suit before. You I never ever wore this suit before. I thought it was too flash. But then seeing, researching Mr. Fish, I thought, right, if there's a day I'm ever going to wear this suit, it's got to be today. But what hurt me the most, this shirt, no one's got this collar on this shirt. And I come here and look at his shirt. <laughs> Show him your collar on your shirt. It's a double collar. I've never, I've never seen anyone with that shirt. So I put this shirt on the day thinking, yeah, I'll show him about class and style. <laughs> He's turned up with one. How's your father? How's your father? I'm going to punch his wife up now because she... <laughs> she told him to wear it. <laughs> she told him to wear it. Where do I catch him? Is he that one? <laughs> yeah. Look common now. Look common. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Well, I am presently dating a Colombian lady boy, so. What's his name? Shame the boy. <laughs> You keep the boy. We met in prison. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Just joking. I'll have to introduce you to Pe Pedro. Pedro from Chile. Tell him to get his chili out. Tell him to get his chili out. Seriously, my oh. <laughs> my digestive system has been disrupted oh, from all this God. laughter. It was fantastic. My throat is like, what is going on? I've never laughed so much on a podcast ever, ever. Seriously. <laughs> This is off the scale. Oh, I'm happy to have made you happy. <laughs> oh, thank you both, you guys, for coming today. Mate, we have to do um, a part two because there's loads. I have more so th many questions th th for you. Well, I mean, yeah. Do, do, yeah. Do you want to do it now? Part two? Should we do a part two? I mean, if you want to keep going, it's up to you. I thought you what, were wrapping it up right what there. Yeah. What time? We have done one hour and three quarters. Oh, should we wrap it in. Come yeah. Well, we're going to wrap it yeah, in. Yeah, wrap it. We're going to go and get blow jobs out. Well, speak for yourself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Get out now. I'm straight. He shuts his eyes. He shuts his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you were going on dates then? <laughs> yeah. In yeah, not in a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not in a plastic <laughs> bag with a bitch in a shell. Girlfriend oh, in the plastic bag. Picture clock. of the girlfriend uh, in a plastic mate, bag. Mate, how did you do that? Oh, there's various levels of adaptation for a straight guy. No. Um, in the beginning, no, but I'm fucking shit back. Yeah, go on, go on. In the beginning, in the beginning, I am banging my bishop. We're interviewing him now. <laughs> banging my bishop two or three times a day in the shower. In the beginning, ah, oh, is that go how you turn gay? <laughs> <laughs> I turn gay by sitting on the vicar's lap. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 I didn't know it was his feet. I got my missus, got my missus <laughs> visiting me. So we're in medium security, getting a little, you know, hugging and kissing in at the end and all that shit. Um, but over time, you know, there's, there's things like the prisoners say, there's no wives tale whereby if you're going to get out of prison, use it in prison or lose it. Yeah. So you've got to do dick lifts. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So in the shower, wet cloth, on your erection, and you got to do the reps. That I'll tell you what, love muscle. That's, I love you. That's when, what, you that's when, when, did. When, when did you do? <laughs> when did you do your bird? Um, May you? 16, two thousand and two was when the SWAT team and, came. Uh, until how long? I got released in December two thousand and seven. And you didn't have a fucking mobile all that time. <laughs> we had mobile. We were wangy, 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 wangy. Oh, my way. Porno what? mags. My Porno way. Mags. What? Did you have a phone? Yeah. No. No. What are you yeah. doing in that America in Arizona? What am I doing over there? When I got arrested, um, my si when I got released, yeah. there's a picture of my parents picking us up at the airport. And my sister's showing her the phone and explaining all the phone, what, what it's about and everything, texting. Didn't That all bypassed me in the beginning. Oh, oh when, you, when you came out? Yeah, yeah, I didn't yes, understand man, it. Yeah. didn't understand it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me ask yeah, you one yeah, question yeah, now. Yeah, now I'm okay. yeah, yeah. When you came out... <clears throat> What was your, because like, oh, you know, you've been away nine years and you're not a criminal. What was the, what was, when you came out, what were the changes you saw? How did you adapt? Okay, so it, for me, it was a reverse culture shock. Mm. So I've just come on, I've been on Con Earth for a few days, going across Arizona and California. <laughs> then they put me in a California facility. Just then stop put, everybody, hold it. <sighs> Come back to me. Did you say Con Air? Yeah, yeah. What, you was on the plane? Yeah, yeah. What, handcuffs? Yeah, what? yeah. So Connor, you're a G. You're a G. <laughs> Shout out to Nicholas <laughs> Cage. Connor, <laughs> Nicholas oh, Cage. I hope I get nicked in America. <laughs> Looks a bit like the guy out Connor. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I want to get nicked in America, Arizona. Come for me, please. So it was, it was federal on. deportation, Connor. So it was all illegal aliens because the whole time I was in America, I was a legal alien. Yeah. So I was the only um, English guy. It was all Mexicans. Okay. So I'm translating things for them to the. Oh, yeah, and their guards are saying, no, you can't take a fucking piss. Tell oh, them okay, that, okay, et cool. on the plane. Yeah, yeah. Federal marshals, rows of them, guns, yeah. fucking stood up looking at us. And we were all, all like this. Yeah. Lunatics as well, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Like redneck fuckers. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, proper yeah, loons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get to the airport in um, LA. I'm with an Argentinian guy. And no, this Argentinian guy in, in the cell, the holding cell, before they, they come with the transportation van. This. We can't sleep or anything. And the Argentinian guy all night long, he's telling us his life story. And I'm pacing because like, I'm fucking, it's doing my head and I just want to be released. And he's going on and on. And he's saying, um, yeah. Sure, sure. I'm, sorry I'm, to cut you. Were you sentenced at this time or waiting to be sentenced? No, I'm right? getting released. Oh, you're getting released? This is okay, my release right. story. This is my release oh, story. Banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I thought it was the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, well. no, no. This is the release. This is the release. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So this Argentinian is about to get released and he's going, my wife's waiting for me in Argentina. She's a fucking supermodel. Every morning she wakes me up with a blowjob. She's such a lovely woman that um, when I cross the road and I see a homeless person, <laughs> she makes, makes us give them money. And all night long he's just going on and on and on like this. And I'm thinking, this is that's fucking crazy. Think you're getting <laughs> so any, anyway, I end up in the van with the Argentinian guy going nah. to the airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We get stuck in LA traffic and the fucking driver goes, we're going to have to reschedule you guys because we're stuck in the traffic. You can't make your planes. And the Argentinian guys goes fucking nuts. He's like, reschedule us. I think he was just going to get a later flight. And he's looking at me. He's like, I'm like, what? I don't know what a rescheduling means. The whole deportation process has to start again, which takes no. weeks. So he's like, there's my wife's waiting for me. She's flown all the way He's going crazy. He get the van turns around, goes back to the jail. No. When we get to the jail, he just goes nuts. He goes, "I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette." And they put him in a cubicle where they put, you know, people who are uh, head yeah. in the wall. So um, I go back in the holding cell, and the guard comes back and he goes, "Actually, your flight was delayed. We can still get you to the fucking wow. airport." No, yeah, yeah, gangster, yeah, yeah, yeah. gangster. Not slept for days. Yeah, I'm at the van's there. I say I, I need to have a oh, pee. Banging. I need to have a pee. He goes, you're not going to try anything funny, are you? <laughs> so <laughs> we, we go to the men's room together in the airport. He chains me to a fucking railing while he has a pee. And then he has to watch me have a pee. Oh, yeah. Man, I wish I had his job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's called Peter gazing in the showers. Peter gazing. Yeah, Peter gazing. Out there. That's what they call Don't fucking. I was a shower cleaner. And I, I, I was the best shower cleaner they, the, the prison never had. I said, I used to reach the parts where other cleaners couldn't reach. <laughs> Professional Peter yeah, Gaynor. Go on, go on, go on, go on. All right, so yeah. then they've got like the flight. The, he goes, I'm go we're going to put you on the um, plane first so you don't scare the passengers or anything like that. <laughs> so we'll take your cups off. The, no. flight, the cabin crew are at the top of the stairs. Yeah. And for the first time, people talked to me like I was a human. Ah, yeah. And my heart was melting. Yeah. Just yeah. like, I don't know what he said, just like, I'm John from London or something, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. And I was, I was like, ah. I'm not a number, I'm not an animal all of a sudden. Yeah. So I get on the plane and um, all the women are getting on. I can smell like the perfume yeah. and stuff. After being around sweaty, hurry men for like six, <laughs> six years. You're such a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> but I make a mistake because I'm a, a little bit institutionalized. But oh, yeah, go on. I put my hand up when everyone's on the plane. No. <laughs> and I ask a female member of the cabinet. No. Can I go to the toilet? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah I did. I did. So I'm going no. bright red. I'm going bright red. Oh, my. And a lot of people looking at me, and um, the, the woman goes, <laughs> woman goes, you don't need to ask. I like the boy, you the lala. <laughs> toilets, toilets right there. You don't need to ask. And all I wanted was a bird bath because I've been, I was conscious because I've been in transportation for three days and I was stinking. Oh, okay. yeah. All these women are on, I'm thinking, fuck, they're going to think I'm a smelly bastard. No. So I go, I go in the little cubicle, scrubbing my armpit, scrubbing my dick and everything, just soaping it up and getting the smell off. Get back to my seat and, um, that was it then. It was like eight, nine hours. I can't remember back to Heathrow or Gatwick. And there's videos of me on the YouTube channel. I'm all stubbled out. My what, eyes are all bugged. What, already before you started your podcast and all that shit? Yeah, my, my, um, th my sister and my dad, also, my, my dad uh, took, a, took some video of us okay. at the airport. So, and I look completely bugged. So like all my face is all. Did you get in this podcast because of your dad then? Is that what you're saying here? No, my podcast only started like two or three years ago. Oh, I see. Okay. I got released in December 2007. Can I ask you a question? Sean? But my family were uh, helpful in me getting my YouTube channel. Okay. My dad started the channel when I was in prison. So I've had this channel now for about 12 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, um, of course. How long has it taken you to re engage into society after you got out of prison? Oh, man. I was um, on the dole at my parents' house for the first year, mm. and the job center was saying, you need to stop telling them you've got a criminal record and get a telly sales job. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, I um, how much? I, I, um, the mental health team. You should say you don't even watch telly. <laughs> the mental Go health on. team, right? Mental health. I, I told them I've been on a, off a bit of meds in the prison because yeah. prison's fucking crazy. And to cope, I had to get on a bit of meds. But now I'm fine. I'm out of prison. The mental health team said, <laughs> When when you think you're fine, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's when you're not. That's grandiosity. Mm. 
not only do you need to stay on the meds, Fucking we're going to have to double them. No. And we're going to bring in this regional district person, the manager, the, the Romanian, <laughs> and she's going to find out oh, whether you're brilliant. just a bubbly eccentric or you're seriously mentally ill. Yeah. So they brought this Romanian in and they were threatening to do home visits and blood tests and all this shit. So it was all going wrong for yeah, me. Yeah. I thought, right, I'm going to move in with my mate down south. So my mate down south, DJ Hot Wheels, Manchester lad, but he was one of my ecstasy oh, suppliers no, yeah, out of LA. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. He um, threw, was doing raves out there. He did some stuff and ended up in the feds, transferred to Wandsworth. Oh, he, he got released a few years before me. His prison was a few years before me. Ends up living in Guildford. In a half, he was in a halfway house first, but then thought Guildford's nice. Let's get a yeah. house here. So yeah. he, right. he ends up in a historic cottage here. So I'm on the door at the parents' house and Mike... God bless his soul. He's like, come and move in down south with me. Okay. So being down south was how I got everything going. But I was I was on housing benefit and on the door for about yeah. five years. Mm. But yeah. how did, what I mean when I say integrated back into society, because for myself, yeah. um, it took me a good two years just to even be able to live like an outsider, if you like, yeah. even to be able to, to stop having that paranoia, to stop looking over your even shoulder. Even now I prefer to sit with my back against the yeah. wall in a, in a pub or a restaurant. Do you suffer with anxiety I in did. crowded places? I, 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 was, I was on drugs because of anxiety in the very beginning. That's why I did ecstasy and, and meth and, and speed mm. and all those things because I didn't like to be around people. I was shy as a teenager. Mm. Now, so why on the you drugs, was anxious? He <laughs> <laughs> yeah. took them all at once. <laughs> on the drugs. I was wild party animal. And that's what people saw. But yeah, inside, I, I yeah, still got that yeah. shy anxiety. Yeah. And that's why I tell people, you know, I was never a gangster. Yeah. I was a nerd who had gangsteritis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd watch too many movies like Lockstock, yeah, Goodfellas, yeah. Scarface. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Though. Yeah, yeah. Take me back. I mean, yeah, yeah. you're here talking to us and we're talking about prison now. Yeah. And like your <clears throat> story is really interesting to me because like, what was an American prison? I mean, someone asked everyone in yeah, the podcast yeah, yeah. talking about English prison, did they have the villain? I've got, I've got videos of the guards in Sheriff Joe Arpaio's jail, Maricopa County Jail, Phoenix, Arizona. I've got videos of the guards murdering mentally ill prisoners. You're joking. I've got a video of an Aryan Brother gang member murdering another gang member in those refused to beat someone. How do you get, get videos? Because the, there's cameras everywhere, and when people die, the family members of the victims sue and, oh, and force in federal court yeah, yeah, like for the state yeah. to release the footage. And but did they release that to you? Yeah. No, no they no, released no, it to the news station, yeah. oh, right, and okay. I took it from them. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah so, um, Aryan Brotherhood gang member. Yeah. Come on. It shows. It Is shows. That why you shaved your hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, that helped me actually. Keeping <laughs> yeah, it shaved helped me. Yeah. 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 yeah go on. Go on. So, um, Peter Van Winkle, I think, was his name. Was the AB guy, and the guy, what he'd done, he hadn't. He refused to beat up a gang member. So you see the AB guy just fucking stomping on this guy's head and neck for like 10 fucking minutes, smashing his head into the concrete for 10 minutes. Mm. Guards don't responded. This is the security camera. They're supposed to go in and stop it. Mm. 20 minutes in, the guy's well dead. Did they still, they still, not, they still they not responded. Did they ever come in? What, what happens is, what happens is, he fucking brings the corpse out of the cell Right in front of the camera oh, on the balcony, right. like that, like he's trying to show it off. Yeah, no, but I do, yeah. Tries to throw it off the balcony then, it gets stuck in the railing, <laughs> and he just starts fucking kicking it over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> wow. And he and he wow. yells at the people downstairs, you want to see this bitch fall or something like that? I mean, everyone thinks we got a story, but your story must be mad. Um, what, Actually, what I experienced, yeah, what I saw, yeah, yeah. yeah. But my co-defendant... Um, you mentioned about people dying. He just died. It was his funeral just before Christmas. My best friend from childhood, Wild Man, yeah. 28 Stone. Wild Man from childhood had red dots in his head telling him to hurt people. You would have loved this guy. When Wild, when, when Wild Man got released, yeah. he goes to the mental health team in my hometown witness and says, look, I've got red dots in my head that have told me to hurt people since I was a kid. Wow. They said to him, you don't need any medication. <laughs> You're normal. You're just making this up to try and get benefits. <laughs> yeah. And, they, and he was fucking crazy. Yeah. Right, he was a good man to get arrested right, with. Before we go, I had to. Uh, Sean, before yeah, we go, yeah. and I say this last part. Yeah, yeah. Can I interview you? Of course. Oh, yeah. gangster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, totally. wait, you've yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you, you should be interviewed, not me. <laughs> right. But one thing I want to say about you. Very modest. Last thing before we go, I'd like to say before we go. 
You know, you said your doctor said to your mate about hearing voices. Well, yeah. one day I had a fight in Wandsworth. Kicked right off. And the screws are dragging me down. And I've had a fight with all the screws. And, and, and what's happened was, oh, crash what's happened. The last one for I go. I was like, what's that, my cell, mate? I'm the cell, mate. And I put all the newspapers in the window. So it's very cold. We've got no windows. And crash out your father. I put the newspaper for insulation. I come back from exercise yard and crash. All of the newspapers on the floor. You know when they do the cell searches and all that, yeah? So, oh, my, that's right. so I ring the bell. Oh, I remember I'm new then. Now, these nonsense, it's, you know, at the beginning of this sentence, two, six, they don't really know me like the old school officers do, yeah? Like, I'm just new. I'm just coming on. So uh, this black officer, because they're black officers now, isn't it? And we, and we come up in the world. <laughs> black officers. <laughs> and so, crack. He yeah, come up and I said, look, mate. He goes, why are you ringing the bell? So I said, listen, mate. I said, you're taking all the insulation out. What's wrong with you? You're taking the pieces for you. He went, well, you carry on and I'll take you down the block. I said, you know what, Gov? You will take me down the block, but trust me, it will be a war. So we left it at that. We later, my cellmate, something's happened, and he's jumped my cellmate. So I've gone on the now. I said, mate, mate, to my cellmate, look, relax, all right, don't. And he's the, the, the black people. I said, fuck off, fish, fuck off. All right, cool. So now I'm in there, and I'm fuming. So you know the glass with the wire in it? Because I've trained on the bare walls, I've gone crash and put my hand through the wire and it's cut on my hand. So they've taken me on down to the ones. And in ones, they used to have a circle, it was called the, the star. And if you walked on that star, they ironed you right out because you could see all the wings. And yeah, brilliant though, yeah. So what happened was crash. And I'm now walking, I've seen them take my cell, mate. So I've gone, right, picking on that fucking kid, you can't. Right, you want to walk? I said, come on in. Let's have the fucking war. So crash, I'm on it now. They're blowing the whistle on the alarm. No, the alarm goes three times when it's on. It's on now. Oh, no, I'm having it. They're all falling over. <coughs> they got me down. I've locked up my their legs. I'm getting a smell. So anyway, when the old screw comes, I knew he went, do me a favor, mate, please, for me. Come on, son. I'm all right, Mr. Morris. Sweet. Let's do it. So I've gone down the block. So I've gone, yeah, come on in. You come. Let's do it. So I took all my clothes. I said, right, I'm fucking ready now. Let's fucking get us down here. I'm in there. I stripped off bottom. Let's fucking do it. Come on, when you're ready, come and get your gear. Let's fucking do it. And an Indian doctor came. And he said, oh, uh, uh, he goes, are you all right? I goes, who's that? He goes, it's the doctor. The doctor. Yeah, I said, what? What do you want? He went, are you okay? I said, I'm fucking okay. He goes, are you hearing voices? I said, yeah. He said, who's? I said, yours. <laughs> 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 with, that, with that, the prison officer, with that, the prison officer, the prison officer, I lock the door, yeah? And he goes, Brad, come on, mate, it's just all in day. He's on the floor, and we come out. <laughs> fucking are you here? Of course I'm fucking here, boy. You're talking to me, you loon. <laughs> on that note, Gangster. Ah, no, no, oh, sure. Let me close sure. It. Let me close if I get coronavirus it. now, <laughs> Boris, £10,000 fine, no two million, did Boris. You've got it all on camera. <laughs> Although we're not finished yet. If you've enjoyed this, wow. if you've enjoyed <laughs> this. <laughs> Rhetorical question. Oh. Please let us know <laughs> in the comments whether you'd like Mr. Fish part two. Oh, come on. Let's Imagine you guys want to hear Lee's story as well. Ah, oh, okay. And also, um, huge thank you to James and Joe, our cameraman and sound engineer, have been in here with us today. Having you know, to, having such I a like James us. and Joe, but you know what? They've not been quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a unique skill. I don't know what I'm meant to say. Years of training. <laughs> right? Years of training. Huge thank you to all the new subscribers. Subscription logo is down there in the corner of the screen. It is free to subscribe. Huge thank you to all the new subs as well. We've really been surging forward lately. And in the description box are links to our socials, donation links, and everything else. And holy shit, man, I have never, ever, nah, ever right. laughed right. so much in my life in a podcast. Well, you obviously haven't looked in the mirror. <laughs> 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 Are we finishing with a dance? <laughs> Your wife is going to get the wrong idea. I'm all right. Your wife is going to get the wrong idea. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Fucking classic, man. I love you. Brilliant. Well done. That was brilliant.